Hey guys, what's going on? FY my pawn here, and welcome back to Divinity Original Sin, Enhanced Edition. Since we last left off, we ended up discover well, we managed to deal with the church, but we did get way barred by a story thing, I presume. So we are doing some roundabout, you know, exploration to try and gather as many pieces as possible for uh, quests and all that. And we're trying to complete everything we can in the original zone. We managed to kill the two major influences on the dead within the area. So that's pretty nice. And we also discovered the Orc Beach was actually a lower leveled area we could have taken advantage of earlier on. But now we're going about to clearing that. And hopefully by then we'll get that cleared up and nice and smoothed over before we move on to the next area. But for now, what we're doing is we're exploring in that little cave area, and hopefully getting a shard or anything else we can find along the way. But I digress. I hope you guys enjoy, and let's begin. Now, if I do recall correctly, we left midway through exploration in the cave, and we are currently exploring a small little uh, side area that potentially holds a treasure of some kind. I'm not sure whether this is going to be a good treasure or not, but it should be level 7 worth in quality, so... We're certainly going to get some benefits here if we're lucky. Uh, it looks like we should probably save, but we should be fine. Probably should talk to the rat when we can. Okay. Hello. Okay, interesting. So... Okay, so if we distract by... Okay, so that's probably something to do with the boss fight something. Okay, let's see. Anything else around here? Before I, you know, move on? It feels like there should be more stuff around here. Oh! So there is! There's more crabs! That's not good. Alright, we got some pirate bowmen, we got some crabs. Okay, we're gonna go with... Hmm. I guess we could go self-immolation, there's nothing stopping that. Or we can go wildfire. Although, honestly, I may reload, if only to go in the other direction. I, I don't know. I'll, I'll stick with what I got currently. Alright, let's do a quick save here. Let's just make a new save. We'll just go with uh, Black Cove Antics for the save. And we're going to start by activating Wildfire, see if that works. Okay, no, it doesn't, so we're going to reload. Because we gotta get the RNG right for this. To a degree, anyways, I should say. Alright, come on, wildfire. We need the extra actions. There we go. That's gonna help. Now we're gonna go for the hard-shelled crab here. And get the stun. Nice. We are going to use the... Well, I guess we could go with the summon instead. Yeah, let's get a summon here. There we go. And we're gonna move just a smidgen out of the way. There we go. That works for me. Perfect. Okay, the hard shell crab is gonna try and do something. Thankfully, the stun comes into play, so that's perfectly fine with me. So we're gonna take advantage of that and strike as much as possible. And get another strike on the hard shell crab, get the weaken. Nice, that works for me. Alright, now the bowmen are gonna try and do something. And they're doing shield on him. Which is not fun. I need to dry off. Okay, that's a trip and a wet. That's not fun. Ah. Okay. Interesting. Go for the bite there. 
Okay, apparently, uh, just having extra bites is not viable to a degree. Uh, let's see. How are we going to get rid of Knockdown? I think there's an item that we can use here. Let's see. Uh, we got Love Grenades. Uh, Thunder Jump is an interesting one, but not needed. We got Magical Poison Dart, Summon Earth Elemental, Firefly, Cheap Poison First Aid, no. Hmm. Uh, no. Ice Wall, no. Okay, so we're not getting anything that's going to help us here, I don't think. Cures Bleeding, Crippled Disease, no. Burning Frozen, Stun Charm, Healing, and Shields. Well, we're currently knocked down, so... I don't think we have anything that's going to help us here. Air Absorb? No, that makes him immune to Electrified. Wait, hold on. Air Absorption, yeah. Meteor Electrified. And Avatar of Storm makes him... Okay. So basically, no change. Alright, we're gonna go for a boost to... We're gonna go Oath of Desecration first. We're then going to use the... Magical Poison Dart to at least take out this crab here. Or try to, anyways. We don't, so we're gonna move back a bit. And we'll let the spider do its work. Okay, it goes for the cripple on Marcus, which sucks, but that's fine. We'll live. Alright, and the spider's gonna be focused for a little bit. That's perfectly fine by me. It works, honestly, quite well. Alright, Marcus, or Steve, is going to be focused. Alright, uh, Marcus, you are currently not buffed up, but we can make that change. Uh, we can either charge over to the Bowman, or we can charge over to the Crab, or we can just start targeting the Crab in general. Okay, we can't actually attack, it seems. Okay, why can't we attack? Let's see. Character is crippled, movement, AP penalty. Oh, we can't move in general. That would explain things. Okay, in that case, we're going to just do a charge here so we can get within range. And then strike at the hard shell crab here so we get the kill. We can then start striking at this crab here, with the spider. There we go. Get two strikes in, and move into the range. We're gonna follow up with a... I guess a Blitzbolt here? There we go. That's a kill. We're not gonna go for the attack on the hard-shelled crab, but we can go for an... a arrow shot, I think. Or we can go for Midnight Oil, which would do something similar. Instead, I think I'm going to Fortify, just to make sure Steve is more reinforced here. And make him uh, a less likable target. If only to make him less likely to take damage anyways. Which is going to be nice. Which hasn't really helped me all that much. Great. Okay. Uh, we're not going to get that out of the way. Um, we can do self-immolation, but I think it's high time we just run through the poison. Get that healing going. We're going to get the spider to go for... We'll go for the further one. Focus on that one. Oh, the... Uh... Okay, it appears that the shelled crab has uh, lost its focus. So we're going to boost up Marcus by giving him Bless. We're going to start pelting one of the bowmen instead of uh, the others. And go from there. That's one. That is two. Okay, that's two strikes. Uh, the hard-shelled crab is running over. 
And he's trying to get some shots at the spider, which is fine. Just gives us more ammunition to work with. Okay, we're gonna target the crab here. There we go, that's one strike. That's another. And we managed to get the stun. Nice. We are gonna summon yet another spoiler. There we go. And we're going to march up into the poison to get some healing. Gonna get the spider to attack this bowman. Managed to get two strikes in. Nice. And a spider's taken some shots, which is gonna be nice. Alright. We'll have Marcus strike at the crab. Get the kill off. And then we're just going to move on up. The spider will finish off its job. It will go for the next pirate bowman here. Get the strike off. And we'll have... Yeah, we'll have Steve finish off the pirate. With two strikes from his bow. Or his uh, wand, I should say, specifically. Oh, hello. That was unexpected. Okay, activate this. Uh, let's, let's end our turn there for now. We'll have the spider move in and go for the attack there, I guess. There we go. Works for me. I'd rather the spider die from burn than uh, anybody else, that's for sure. <laughs> but yeah, that seems to be it. Alright, now we got level up. And I think that's level 10, unless I'm mistaken. Nope, we're level 9. Okay, so for t statistics, we got a boost in abilities, specifically. Uh, we've got Man at Arms for Marcus. I've uh, got Pyrokinetic and Scoundrel. I believe I wanted one point in Expert Marksman, but anything goes at this point, I'd say. I think key we want to focus on is Block, though. Or, at the very least, Status Ailments and getting rid of that. Because Knockdown is not fun for a tank. Alright, Armor Rating. Okay, uh, we're gonna go... Bodybuilding, I think? Or Shield Specialist? Uh, getting the chance to block is not bad, so I think that might actually be better. We're gonna get Shield Specialist here, and that'll give us one point left to spend. Uh, we can boost Crafting, I suppose. It wouldn't be bad. There's also Nasty Deeds if we want to boost up lockpicking, pickpocketing, or sneaking. I think it's high time I get a point in Expert Marksman, even though I don't have the, uh, even though I don't get as much benefits from it. Because, well, do I need it? Not really. No, no. Uh, defense, shield, yeah, shield will get more to block. Uh, there's Charisma, Leadership, Craftsmanship. I guess Crafting, why not? You never know when Crafting's going to be more important, so we'll grab Crafting and go from there. Besides, it wouldn't hurt. So we're going to go with that, and for Steve specifically, uh, we can go with a Lore Master of 5 if we really wanted to. Uh, let's see. We can go with a Charisma Boost, which will cost 3 we can boost any of our more, you know, physical skills, it seems. Uh, we got Geomancer. We should probably level up uh, Witchcraft if we're going to use more of that spell list. But honestly, I think we can save for now. In favor of getting something else, such as Wand Boost, which will actually probably increase damage significantly if we grab it. Do we want to grab Wands? Yeah, we might as well. We've already gone for the Focus of Wands. So, as long as we keep a distance, we should be fine. 
Okay, skills. Hmm. Uh, I think we go with the charisma boost. Unless we want to do something else. Honestly, if I could, I'd like to get leadership again. So that way I can boost even further uh, the bonuses that I'm already giving. Because having a high leadership score just helps overall. Let's see, crafting, lore master. I think lore master is like the next best thing. Uh, it allows you to examine enemies and identify um, items. The more invested, the more in-depth your intel. Crafting determines what you craft and the quality of crafted items. Blacksmithing allows to repair. Required to create and improve metal enhanced weapon and armor. Okay. And nasty deeds is fine. Okay. In that case, I guess anything in the elementals is perfectly fine for me to grab. Uh, do I have any books that I might want to use? Uh, I've got the Explode skill book, which I was planning to save for Marcus, because he's going to be utilizing it quite a lot, I suspect. Being the melee character and all. Um, fast Track. I guess now that I think about it, I do have Scoundrel 1, so I can learn this. Why not? 70% 70 per 70 chance to get hastened. Uh, we get low... Because we have a low dexterity, we don't get a guaranteed chance, though. So, that sucks, but that's just how the cookie crumbles. You know, honestly, thinking about it, I should probably actually get a boost in willpower and bodybuilding. If only to get some, uh, resistance to the status ailments that we're suffering from. So I'm going to get a point in each of those. And hope that helps us significantly. We don't necessarily need anything else here, so I guess the next best thing is going into sneaking, perhaps? Or investing in a two-handed, perhaps. Um... Skills... Well, I can just invest in one and then get two points into something else. That is an option. Uh, personality. Craftsmanship. Yeah, I think it might be best to get one point into uh, bodybuilding, because I already got a point in willpower. And then for skills, I'm going to grab some boost in witchcraft, perhaps? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Determines how many witchcraft spells you can learn and how many action points it costs to use higher level witchcraft spells. Yeah. So we'll get two points in witchcraft and go from there. Because those are going to be our focus after all. Because of this, I'm going to do a quick save on the Black, Al Black Cove Antics. And we'll go from there. Careful now, that's a trap. I think this is a uh, danger zone, so we're going to do a quick save regardless. And let's go see what's... We entered a strange cove containing several let... Levers. They must have some function, but there's only one way to find out. Pull the levers. I've always been curious about the exotic lever. Where does it lead? A tropical isle? A dusty western village? Perhaps to the Hall of Echoes itself? Hmm. Well, if I do recall correctly, um, we need to avoid the, uh, 
We need to avoid the uh, more dusty switch. Yeah, we need to avoid the worn switch, I believe. Okay, not bad. Managed to get something out. Hmm. Okay, mortar and pestle. Alright. Alright, ominous switch. There's the worn switch. There is the rock covered. Regular switch. And frosty switch. I do believe the hint said that we need to avoid... We need to avoid something. But at the very least, I know this much. If that's aimed here, so that's going to explode. This is going to explode over in this direction, I suppose. This will explode all the way over here. Vice versa. So these switches... So this switch, this switch... Uh, is there any dangers coming from here? I imagine this switch is also dangerous because of... Uh... Well, actually, no. The regular switch might not be actually dangerous. Uh, there is that rock-covered switch, though. Well, nothing left to do but save and try to find out, I guess? I wonder what that did. Maybe nothing at all. Hmm. Now that'd simply be cruel. Okay, so that's not an option. How about this switch, then? What the devil happened to my weapon? Oh, well. Well, that sucks. I guess my, uh, wep- Well, thankfully my weapon's unbreakable, so that's good. Ominous switch. I guess the only other switch is the rock cover switch, isn't it? Ah, pain. Good thing I'm, uh... <laughs> good thing I heal by, uh, poison. Otherwise, rot would be a lot worse for us. I've spotted something interesting. Oh, there's a secret lever, it seems. Okay. Let's quickly he heal up, and then we'll go from there. A warm switch. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, that's fun. <laughs> Alright, warm switch, ominous switch. I guess the exotic switch is the only thing left. And then I guess there's the frosty switch, so there is that. You know what? Maybe there's another switch somewhere. And I'm just missing it because I'm looking at the bigger picture here. Yeah, no, there's literally a switch right at the distance. A copper switch. Okay, we got an old push dagger. Fargonite. Alright, we got some arrow shaft. Okay, just drop these. Oh. Alright, let's quickly move over here. Activate the copper switch, see if that does anything. Move back. Oh. Drops a coppery... or an ornate chest, I guess. <laughs> Alright, we got an unidentified push dagger and a cap. Alright, so the dagger is a dexterity weapon with a 10% chance to do deal burning. As for the cap, we've got one leadership for it if we put it on. And 18 HP. Which is pretty good. Uh, we get one leadership and 23 HP from the other, but... Let us see all the same. Okay. We'll send that to Steve to see how he likes it. 
It's probably got a bit more armor than anything. Yeah, it's got more armor, but less HP, which, honestly, perfectly fine by me. I'd rather have less HP, but still have the same leadership than have nothing at all. Okay, but that leaves out that. Now we're left with that door. Do we just press this switch again? No, we've already pressed it, so... I guess the only thing is the exotic switch, and that's the hint. Oh. Well then, <laughs> I guess, um... That's annoying. Whatever, I guess. I guess we're going back. That's annoying, but okay. <laughs> Well, that's quite the incident, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, whatever. We get the job done all the same, so it's no it's no big deal. Okay, at the very least we're getting healed, so that's a plus. And at the very least we can also talk to the rat, if I'm not mistaken, so... All the more reason to go back, I suppose. All right, you, yes. Be wary of worn levers. I saw a man pull one once. And... Yeah, I learned the uh, the hard way. Okay, this thing is locked, I do believe. Yeah, we can't unlock it because it's a level five chest, but that's perfectly fine. All right, let's just go around. Let's keep going. And hopefully we don't trigger another trap like that, because I don't want to go on holiday. I'd rather solve the riddle than, uh, you know. I guess there is the vibrating switch here. That, I guess we could check that. Ow. Okay. Just heal myself, I guess. Good thing I can heal, like, on command. Like, jeez. Yeah, it takes some time, but at the very least I can heal on a whim. That's a good thing. There's a burrowed switch, it seems. Alright. Well, let's see. Ah, so that's what that did. Ah, blind. There's a golden switch. What'll that do? Ah, so that's what that did. Ah, okay. Well, I'm not complaining. More chests is always nice. Got a thick robe, some gold. Okay. We've already got that clue there, yeah. It's fine. Anything out out around here? No. Hmm. Okay, is there something over here? Oh, there's a chalky switch. Well, I mean, I guess that's another button. Oh, hi! Mobsters, it seems. Alright. Activate offenses. I'm gonna go battering our am, I suppose. There we go. Failed knockdown, but that's perfectly fine. We can still get two strikes off. Stun failed, cripple failed. Blocked. I see. We're going to try and go for the Blitzbolt stun here. Managed to get it, thankfully. End our turn there. 
Gonna start smacking the armored swordsman. And we got some experience for it. I've spotted something interesting. Juicy. I'm not going to complain, after all, about more loot. Okay. Any other... Oh. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna switch. Ah. Great. Parchment. Fee, I fear this missive may be the last evidence of my existence. Fool I was to come seeking that blasted bloodstone. Why, I thought I'd manage to snag it before Ponita snagged me and left me to dangle in the breeze is my greatest final mistake. Worst of all, I worry that I simply lack some insight or relic that might save me from this inglorious demise. Surely there must be a way off this lonely precipice. But since I am too great a fool to find it, I bid fair rival on farewell, and await my turn to enter the Hall of Echoes. Poor man. What's this? I found something. Managed to get some Earth Essence, a Plague Grenade, an unidentified helm, metal helm no less, with leadership on it. Not bad. An unidentified wand. Um, for Steve, that's actually pretty on par with, with what he usually has. And it can give us the Wooden Dart spell, so I'm going to equip that actually. Okay, we're going to get... We'll send that to Steve then. And we will equip it. Because having one of those wands isn't that bad. Especially on our other hand, no less. But I digress. What we really want was uh, a button here. Mysterious switch. There was a talk button, wasn't there? Or so I saw. Yeah, no, there's a rat here, it seems. Yeah, hey. Hello. Yeah, so just gives a hint that there's something in the bush, which is a mysterious switch that sends us back to here. Hmm. Hello. Well, I'm not complaining. It means that uh, we're finding uh, more ways to go through that. But I don't think we're going to find it just by doing the do here. Well, I mean, we can try all again. It doesn't hurt, after all. Do we just have to do trial and error? Is that literally it? I wouldn't think that is the case, but you never know. It's hard to say. We'll give it our we'll give it a good old college try and just try again. Again and again and again. But I'm worried considering there's now many, many traps laid around here. We've pressed about nearly everything, I think. Yeah, we got the golden switches up. Oh, even more. Unlock switch. Push it. Well, we pushed it. All right. I've spotted a trap. 
Hold. The only thing I haven't pressed is the frosty trip, fair one. So press it. Go. Ah, so that's what that did. Ah, frosty. Okay, uh, raises switch. And yeah. I think the only thing left is the raise switch. So I guess we press that. Is that it? Ah, so that's what that ah. Our enemies have lain a trap. Uh, did anything happen to me? I don't think anything happened. Okay. Alright, so we've pressed near enough everything. There's so many traps! Jeez. Alright, um... Yeah, there's so many traps here. Jeez. Hmm. Is there anything here? Oh yeah, there is. There's another glass. There's a glass switch here. Ah, so that's what that did. Okay. Anything else here? Gosh, there's so many switches. Okay. I would assume there's some more, but I'm not entirely certain. Well, there is a chalky switch. Is there anything on this side that I'm missing? I assume there's much more to this than meets the eye, so... Hmm. No? Okay. Anything in the bushery, shrubbery? Nothing too notable. There's a button that was there and there. Alright, the chests are there. A vibrating switch we already pressed down. Is there something server back that we missed? Perhaps. Hmm. I don't know, I don't think we missed anything, did we? Hmm. Okay, is there any hints here? I don't think there is, no. Wait, hold on. Torches are flashing. No, it's just uh, how the light is. Man. Hold. Our enemies have lain a trap. So many explosive mines, though. Hmm. I'm not sure. Hold on, let me do a Google search, because I'm not sure. Okay, so there should be a bush down the steps. Somewhere around here, yeah. Okay, so I found it. This should be the last theoretical button that is the actual... Yeah, that's the actual way to en enter this area. Okay. Well, it took a little bit, but I'm, I'm perfectly fine having resolved it now. Okay, let's get some healing before we go, and then we can go. Let's do a quick save before we finish off, though. Alright, Black Cove Antics, we're done. Ponti Pontius Pirates. Alright, let's get ready. Welcome! 
welcome you are amongst us pilots, for we aim to revert those roles. Your blood will fuel the stone, and our flesh will return to our bodies. You shall die, so that we may live anew! Okay. Now, if I do recall correctly, Pontius likes to summon from what the rat has said as a uh, tip for us. We're going to do a quick save here. Just so we're ready for this. Double time. We're going to get the hastened effects. Uh, we can do wildfire, I suppose, to see if that works. We're going to do a quick save as well for this then, to see if we uh, luck out. We're going to do wild, wildfire. There we go. We managed to get the haste going. And we're going to end our turn there. We're going to activate the summon here. There we go. We'll give bless to Marcus. Just so he's a bit more beefy there. Going to move Steve back a bit, and we're going to start attacking the pirates with our Spoiter. There we go. Spider's going to be focused down significantly, I would assume. Seems they're missing, though, which is good. Makes our job easier. Ah, burning. Good job. You used the one thing the spider's good at against it. <laughs> Alright, you going for the cripple. Okay, that's going to probably get rid of our summon at this rate. But we'll see, we'll see. Ah, falling. Not fun. Okay, the pirate goes in. Gonna go for Steve, it seems. Which is not fun. Okay. I could probably use teleportation here. Okay, if I use... Alright, let's get one AP worth of movement over to here. Oh, well, we've already moved, so bugger it. Uh, let's see, we're gonna move two AP to here, I suppose. Gonna teleport you, and we're gonna teleport you to... Okay, target's out of sight. But we can teleport you over to the fire, though. And we can knock you down because of it. Or at least get you knocked to a distance. Which will give us a chance to strike you again. And again. That'll keep you preoccupied to a degree. Ah, charm failed. Good job. <laughs> ah, thanks for the poison. That helps. <laughs> Alright, they're throwing down some buffers, but we can probably get away with uh, ignoring those. Marcus is still you know, down, so he won't be able to do anything until his turns come up. Which is annoying, but that's just how the cookie crumbles, I suppose. I can't see. I can't see. Oh great, blind. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, that's a lot of status effects and ailments. Not fun. Okay, just guess strike. Alright, if I go for the direct, I could probably go for that. Uh, alternatively, I go Midnight Oil and uh, burn everything, which is good enough for me. There we go. That'll help some. We're going to get the stun for the Ponitus Pirates. Uh, we failed the stun, unfortunately. 
And we're going to take an AOO if we do move. So that annoyingly is going to put us at end of turn. Alright, we're going to go for the Skeletal Pirate here. Okay, that's pain. I might have to reload here. If only to target somebody else, I think. Okay, spoiler's going down. Slowly but surely. At least the fog is protecting us to a degree. But that's a death. Okay, I guess we're loading. Yeah, we can't deal with that uh, knockdown. That's hellish. Okay. I would be wasting all my turn if I went haste, so I'm going to instead uh, direct my attention over to here. So that way I can uh, start targeting uh, the minions instead. Alright, if I summon the spider, then I can get more uh, distractions on the field, which will help destroy the minions here. We'll get the spider to help out with uh, Marcus. Gonna move over to here, I suppose. Alright, let's take out the skeletal minions first. There we go, that's one. Gonna have the other move over here. Okay. Thankfully, Marcus has got the block and missing going forward him. Ow. Pain. Ah, Pyromancy. Alright, that's hammer time once again. That's annoying as hell. But okay. Yeah, no, that hammer time has ruined, uh, Marcus. I need to find a way to get knockdown removed at some point. Okay. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to set up an oil slick here. Even a there we go. We're going to use Blitz Bolt here and strike at the Skeletal Pirates. Get the stun off. Good. That'll hopefully help with our attacks, to some degree anyways. Marcus is getting pelted, which is not fun. Ah, fun, burning. Not really, but okay. Okay, now you're burning the spider. Great. Oh. Ah, I see. So that's what we gotta do. That would explain things. As long as we take out one pirate, then we can deal with the rest, you know, rather easily. All right. Okay, we're going to move over here. Ow. Pain. Marcus. I'm probably going to have to heal Marcus at this point. Ah, uh, no, don't kill him. Okay, crippled, that's, I guess, fine. You gonna somebody, somebody summon? Nope, you're not, but Marcus is now up, which is good. Alright, we're going to get Marcus to consume a potion, a poison potion preferably. Uh, he doesn't have any poison potions unfortunately. 
But he can use his chance to get the Pirate Bowman struck. Can now target uh, the Pirate Bowman here. Okay. First, we're going to strike the Magical Poison Dart on Marcus to get the heal out. There we go. Get a nice juicy heal there. And we're going to start moving all the way over to here to avoid the direct confrontation there. Alright. Marcus is thankfully healing slowly but surely, which is good. I can work with that. Alright, you're going for the summon. Oh, no, you're going for something. You're going for the immune to fear, it seems. Which is not enough for you. Not enough. Alright, we're gonna go for the Skeletal Pirate here. Get the kill. There we go. Go for the Bowman. And start making our way forward. Spider goes down. But we can immediately summon a new one to take our place. As a... Quite a potent distraction, I would imagine. Alright, we just move... I guess we move back here and we should be good. Deal with the Bowman. And hopefully we're not, you know, encroaching on too much on things. But we'll have to see. You know, now I think about it, there is poison here, isn't there? Hmm. There we go. Alright, Spoiler goes for the Bowman, I guess. There we go. Alright, end our turn there. Uh, Steve. Let's take off the... Well, let's see. You've got a Magical Poison Dart already, so let's take off the... Let's unequip that one. We'll still have the uh, other one, but... We can use this chance to potentially get a stun off so let's do a quick save just to make sure we can get a stun off because I'm quite satisfied with the results of what we've got so far I'm gonna stun okay that's a failed stun uh, 80% extra chance to stun okay so no it's not the best chance to stun him we can still do other things though namely we can potentially strike this bowman there we go. And we can start targeting the Pyromancer, get rid of them. And hopefully... Nope, it's not enough to kill, but we're very close, it seems. Okay, burning failed, knockdown failed, good. That's perfectly fine by me. Alright. Alright, we're gonna strike at the Pontus Pirates here. There we go, hammer time, nice. Now we can start striking down with the knockdown status. We'll activate our power stance, which I should have done earlier. We're going to heal Marcus again, I think. Yeah, we'll heal Marcus. That'll give him a nice juicy heal. We'll pelt the Pyromancer here. And we'll move some distance away. At least to... Oh. Hello. I wasn't expecting you to activate, but okay. Uh, alright. Well then. 
We're gonna do a crippling blow to start with. There we go. Cripple failed, but we can still get another strike in. End our turn there. Uh, we're gonna strike the ornate chest. There we go. Get the stun off. Then we're gonna strike the opponent of this pirate. Get a cold off. He is now enraged. Interesting. Okay, he's now hastened. But that is going to stop him from his tracks. We're going to quickly just smash him upside the head as much as possible. Okay, we'll get two movement worth to get some HP going. We are going to teleport you if we can. Yeah, if we teleport you and we teleport you far away, that'll make our job easier. There we go. And he will massively suffer. Alright, let's get Marcus some healing. And let's see what he does. Uh, he's gonna just run his merry way and strike us once. Okay. Ow. Okay. I guess this is time for Marcus to get the strike in. There we go. And now we're gonna... Yeah, we've managed to get a bonus into reputation. <laughs> and we got the achievement keel hauled for our troubles. Okay, we're gonna move over there. Uh, I guess we can strike the ornate chest because it doesn't seem like an undead being. But it is immune to poison, so that's my mistake. Instead, we'll just pelt it with some HP. And we'll get some healing from walking into poison. So that's enough. Ow. Pain. Don't. Don't kill. Do not kill him. Oh boy. Okay. Um. I guess we're just gonna have to strike him. There you go. Strike one. Strike two. Move in. Alright, either we're going to kill... Uh, we don't actually have a poison. Poison, do we? Okay, so, um... Well, I can stun, potentially. There we go. That'll work. That way we have a chance to actually, you know, wail on him. We'll throw a bolt, just to be sure. Now we strike the ornate chest again. And get the kill. Okay. grab our heals going as we do because poison obviously okay delicate wooden wand uh, we're gonna send that to Marcus or really we're gonna send everything to Marcus at this point I don't think we need anything here oh let's close that send to Marcus there we go More junk. Okay. Let's grab whatever we can here and be on our merry way. Pumpkin. Uh, we can open this, get nothing out of it, though. Nice. Okay, gold. A barrel. Magnifying glass. And chest. Okay. Look out, I see a trap nearby. Yep, there's one final trap here. And then, of course, there's this. Scourge of the seas, bane of my every foe. 
My precious bloodstone has mangled and mutated many creatures in this very cove. A testament to what awaits any who seek to lay their fingers upon me treasure. Okay. Uh, send to Steve. Bloodstone, as powerful as it is sinister. Ah, nice. We now have an inert stone, and we've unlocked something else in the uh, rift. It seems. Ponita's death. Oh. Oh. That's nice. <laughs> if this were... Oh. Ah, That sucks. Well, that's nice, I suppose. <laughs> well, at least we got everything here, I think. I don't think we need to do anything else here. Well, to my knowledge, anyways. There is only one other thing left here. And that's at the very entrance, I do believe. Okay, we can't travel that way, which is annoying, but whatever. Oh! Did the traps automatically activate? Oh. Okay. Well, I guess something activated them, but whatever. <laughs> Not our problem. Before we go any further, we're going to check out the, uh... Well... I guess I could check the rift travel, but I'm not going to just yet. I'd actually like to wait a moment. Just so I can actually open the chests and see the other parts of this area. Because I do believe there is a few other things I can do here. So, might as well ring out the benefits as much as I can. Okay, ornate chest. We're going to have Marcus open it. Uh, it is still apparently locked, so we're going to pick that up for later, I suppose. Not sure what's inside, but we'll figure it out, I'm sure. Hmm. Oh well. It is a difficulty lock of five, I suppose, so that is a thing. We've already opened that chest, so... Alright, I guess we opened the Cove Harbor. And we've got another chest here. Alright. Two-handed sword, and a Tarong. We do need to get another Tarong anyways. We will send that to Steve, because we do need a Tarong for him, I suppose. And initiative never hurts, especially the HP kind. Alright, we're gonna grab the wooden crates. Let's see, anything in there? Magical poison darts, not bad. Okay, got another wooden crate here. Open that. There we go. Alright, let's go, Steve. Ah, even more traps. Lovely. Oh, great. Uh, that's not good. Alright, fire elemental. A wooden crate with a water balloon. Okay. Ah, great. Not loving these traps, that's for sure. Ah, <sighs> great. Okay, let's give it a second. Alright, let's get the poison up. Get our recovery going. Yeah, there goes the poison. Again. Okay, well, I guess we got the fumes going, so that's not bad. At the very least, we can recover quite efficiently, so. Alright, Steve. A rat and uh, another rat. Hello. What happened? Hello. Hey, talk to me. Ah, uh, one second. That is a bunch of pirate boomers. Alright, there we go. Can we get... Come on. Hey. Okay, can I not talk with this rat? Okay. 
Okay, I guess I can't talk with the rat. That's annoying. Alright. Thought I was a rat speaker, but I guess not. Alright, we learned some recipes. Improved metal armor. Nice. Steve? Can one last try. Can you talk with the rat? No. Okay. Fine. Uh, before we go any further, can we deal with these bombers? Target's too far, or I can't see. I feel like I can, though. Okay, maybe I can align myself just right. Oh, I can just barely if I do it right. Alright, let's do a quick save here. And I might be able to lob a... Yeah, I might be able to lob a... Grenade over, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, let's go Firestorm Grenade. Uh, no, I can't. But I can certainly do it with here. Or here, rather. You know, now that I think about it, why, why am I just hesitating like this? I could just do a nice line here, can't I? Okay, I can't do it, but Marcus can. Yeah, if he tosses it right, then... Alright, let's take this here. Take this all the way over to here. Or, try to, anyways. We'll get that here, to here. Alright, Steve is going to be the catalyst. Alright, not exactly what I want, but okay. Okay, Marcus, we're gonna toss that barrel here. Attack. Marcus, we want you to start tossing this barrel. Get it as far as possible here. Nice and tidily over there. Maybe a little closer, just to be safe. Okay. Now, hopefully this does the, the trick, but we'll have to see. Alright, let's move over to here. That fire should... Okay, no, but we can get some li lights, I suppose. Hold on. Marcus. Hold on, is there any way to light this without... I, I guess we can use a, uh, a bow here, technically, if we really wanted to. Actually, hold on. Easy way. There we go. There we go. That works. Not the complete goal I wanted, but hey, it's, it's fine. Unfortunately, we couldn't deal with the rat, so that's perfectly fine, but hey, whatever. At least we got the uh, flames going forward. Ah, uh, Rit Rap Rapniki, whatever. Ah, <sighs> all right, let's keep going. Grab the bottle of water. The barrel has nothing. Wooden crate does have a static cloud coin thing. And now Marcus is a bit too overweight. Which makes sense. We really should be, you know... Then again, I suppose we do have, like, a bona fide... What? A bona fide chest in our inventory, don't we? Alongside a few barrels. We could do with losing the chest, I suppose. 
Alright, where's the chest? It's in miscellaneous, most likely, yeah. There you go. Yeah, we can't open it, so... Okay, well... I mean, I guess we could open it, in theory. Uh, but we're probably gonna... St we're gonna probably put this in Steve's chest, or inventory, I suppose. Inventory space. Alright, well... Now that's a trap. Okay, nothing there. Oh, uh, bottle of water here. Nothing there, but we can put this to the side as well as this because we don't need to, you know, cause too much trouble here. Okay. I mean, there appears to be a warp gate along the end here. Move the barrel out of the way for a sec. Alright, we've got wooden log, got poison barrel. Not bad. Not bad. Headless Nick. Okay. I think that's where we need to drop off the dude. Well, it's a good thing that we have teleportation and can use it to get both things that we want. Alright. Marcus, do your, you know, do your duty. Let's see, we got a dagger, which it's alright. As for the bracers, we could probably use those. Lockpicking lock and crafting. That is going to be good if we go into the craft portion of our game, which is probably going to be Steve's... Which we're probably going to rely on Steve for, for the most part. But anything goes, really, doesn't it? Okay. So we're going to teleport Steve... Er, yeah, we're going to teleport Marcus over. That way he can go and... Uh, yeah, that way Marcus can go over and, you know, so so we can get to the location that we're seeking, basically. Grab the water, grab the tooth, the wooden crates. Alright, we'll quickly march on over here, get up the barrel for the arrow. And we're probably going to teleport to town, if only temporary. Temporarily, I should say. Alright, Waypoint Shrine. We're going to go to Black Cove here. Uh, not Black Cove. We need to go to Derelict Harbor, I guess. Yep. And now we can return the head over. The body stirs. The subtle slouch in its decayed shoulders suggest intense longing. A large... Soggy chunk of flesh falls to the ship's floor with a melancholic thud. So this is what's to become of me, it seems to moan. A body with no head. A ship with no captain. Dejectedly, it proffers a hand. In its palm is a well-weathered notebook only slightly sticky with rotted corpse ooze. You accept it taking it by its spine with two ginger fingers. Your efforts at not gagging are most valiant. Uh, you've got Nick's diary. Crack it open, inhale the musk of its pages, and learn something new. Okay. Thank you. So, about your head. This body grows cold, then hot. Could it be? After all this time? Reunited? Could it be real? Could it be true? Tremors overtake its hands, its knees, and then... Toes, legs, arms, fingers. A, a bit more rotten than when I last saw them, 
But who am I to look a gift self in the mouth? Oh, the feeling of air in my minimally perforated lungs. Of, well, not quite blood, but lovely ooze pumping through my only moderately decayed veins. What a joy it is, my friend. What an absolute joy. Now for my last unfinished business. Pontius Pirate, the animal who consigned me to the peanut-crunching masses. I won't rest until his skull cracks beneath my foot. Oh. Uh, now that you're back in one piece, what can you tell me about your old enemy? Despicable fiend. No wonder his spirit lingers in this cursed cave. Not even the darkest hell would open its gates to such a perversion of the human soul. He would tolerate no dissent upon his death barge. I dared to raise my voice but once, and his sword was through my throat before I'd even finished my plea. Uh, sorry to burst your bubble, but Ponti Pontius is already dead. Dead? Dead and dead for good? Never to rise again? You're very certain? I mean, we stuck... I mean, we killed him, yeah. Well, I would have loved to see him collapse to dust myself, but your assurance is most satisfactory. With my head back on my shoulders and my foes defeated, I owe you a large debt of gratitude, my friend. Here is my pledge to you, then. Your enemies from now and forevermore shall be as my own. Call me when you will, where you will, and I will fight beside you. I'm dying to try out my right hook, now that I've got arms again after all. I see. Until we meet again, Source Hunter, I remain your humble bodyguard eager for your summons. Well, that's nice. Seems we got a friend in Nick. <laughs> and for our troubles, we got a, a friend called, uh... We got achievements as well called Hey Hey Zombie Do to Stomp. It was Source that drove Pontius mad, yet it is Source that has kept Nick alive to fight his old foe. Though we are sworn to eliminate it, there is more to Source than simple evil. Despite any silver linings, Source is a dark storm that threatens destruction wherever it goes. Yeah, there we go. So we did end up choosing Renegade here, but that's perfectly fine, I suppose. Uh, let's see, Renegade, Renegade, Righteous. Ooh, I lost a point in leadership. I might actually have to reload that. Ah, we're going to have to take some time to do that. You know what? Honestly, if we're going to go for... We might as well. We might as well. I need the leadership more than anything. It's enough to ignore the uh, concerns there, I suppose. So, Before we do anything too crazy, we're going to get Marcus to move these oil barrels a little bit. We don't want them to blow up in our faces, after all. Okay, bring the barrels over. There we go. Oh, that's a weird placement, but okay. <laughs> ah, welcome, Artuus. I'm doing rather well. I did have to reload just a smidgen just to get retain our leadership score, but otherwise I'm doing quite well for myself, I'd say. I just need to equip a wand real quick and lay down a blow to the entire thing. There we go. Instant experience. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, all the same, it's Oh, definitely. Gotta save Rivalon. Gotta find the murderers. Gotta be justice-abiding citizens. Alright, got some nice juicy ability, or nice juicy loot. Oh, right. Inventory space is uh, running amok. 
If I'm not mistaken, yeah, we'll just send this to Steve. There we go. And off we go. Grab what we can from the baskets. Because loot is always going to be good for Marcus. Who I have, uh... Who is basically our loot finder. For, for more or less the, uh... Terms of things. Hello, Barlow. How are you doing? Good to see you again. Just currently uh, cleaning up loot and going through and gathering what I can. And for, uh, to give you a... Yeah, no, I went with uh, both zombies. I'm going to a zombie playthrough currently. Just two people with the... Uh... Yeah, it's a little harder than I had expected, but to give you a rough idea, I went with the lone wolf and zombie combo for both the characters. So, at the very least, both are going to heal from poison, which is going to save us a lot of trouble. Steve is focused mainly on casting spells like teleportation. So we can get him to teleport stuff like the chest here. And uh, Marcus is all about the more physical stuff, so if we get a bow, we'll definitely use that. And we'll focus on that. But otherwise, it's just Steve focus on the more spellcasty things, while Marcus focuses on the other stuff. Eh, brings okay, but not good enough. Okay, now we just gotta wait for the teleport, so that way we can get to this gate here again. Annoying, but needed, considering the circumstances. Indeed, that's the plan. Marcus uh, notably moves a little faster than Steve, though, which is an issue. But Steve definitely focuses on the uh, summoning whatnot. I'm thinking about giving Marcus a f summon as well, considering we're going to need the minions for it. Just to, you know, keep our action economy higher, but we can only do so much. I do have Marcus on Pyromancy, though, so we're probably going to get something from there. But yeah, I'm going to try and get a Fire Summon spell for Marcus at some point, and yeah. You know that. Yeah, who knows? Maybe I'll pick up something. We'll see. Okay, but yeah, no, we're just going with the uh, Headless Nick quest, and once we're done with that, which I did want to complete immediately, but I ended up getting the Righteous thing, or I got the uh, Renegade thing, which is not good for us. Maybe more fast. Maybe. Who knows? Alright, here we go. I'm going to speed through this conversation because I've already gone through it. Yeah, I'm just going to speed through this. There we go. And now we just go with... Yet it is Source that has kept Nick alive to fight his old foe. Nick may now be our ally. Make no mistake, he'd be better off dead than perverted into unlife by Source. Hmm. Perhaps he'll find some peace fighting with us against the power that perverted him. But yeah, let's get righteous. Because that's going to help our leadership just a bit more. And I do believe it increases uh, our statistics just right in righteous. Yeah. Uh, if you have the righteous trait, leadership is increased by one. And because we have two points in it, I think our leadership increases by two if I'm not mistaken, but I'm not 100% certain. Let's see. Uh, personality, leadership, uh, from Righteous One. Okay, so we don't get more than one, but still, it's still a benefit. As for anything else here, I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, no, there's nothing good. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to teleport back to the entrance. Uh... Actually, no, I'm going to go back to the north gate, so I can get back to the main town and start selling some stuff, because we're nearly overweight at this point for gear. 
So we could certainly do with a change of pace there. And we can probably fill up our water bottles that we've been collecting to a mass poison. Uh, there is also an instance I would like to get a chance at to respec Steve. Because one of the perks I picked up earlier has been a mistake. A very big mistake. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Alright, one one of those. Yeah, we'll get one. Or sell one, rather. Okay, let's sell the more mundane things. I guess we can sell the more two-handed things as well. Keep the sword, keep the hammer, branch, and we'll sell, I guess. Oh, we need to identify that, so I guess we'll do it quickly here. That's fine. Uh, come on, trade. Okay. Let's see. Hammer, branch. Uh, we don't need the club. It's level 6. Level 6. Cl the clobbering time will keep because they're specially made ones. Uh, pickaxe we're going to keep because that's a tool type item. As well as the hammer. Keep these over here, I suppose. I uh, will sell the metal water staff. Dagger. Uh, do we need a dagger? Uh, for peeling an apple or cutting kidneys. Let's sell the heavy cleaver, but keep the dagger. Uh, butter knife we're going to sell, obviously. Alright, let's identify that. Aw, oh, come on! I hate doing that. Ah, jeez. Yeah, so just expect some selling. It's gonna take a little bit, but it should be fine. Okay, hammer. Pickaxe. Get the bow here. Uh, we've got the buffalo amulet. That's perfectly fine. Okay, we're gonna sell this. This, this. Oh, nope, this. There, that. Yeah, I know, it sucks. <laughs> I'm uh, learning that firsthand, to be honest. It, it really, it, it's really painful, but it's not. there's not much I can do about it. I could probably go through the effort of installing a mod, but I'm not going to go through that effort. I want to I want to clean playthrough for now. Maybe I'll go mod it another time. Perhaps. Okay, 2846, and eh, no. Well, is this level... No, this is level 6. This is level 7. Uh, we can sell the level 7s, I suppose. Uh, level 7. Uh, this is level 7. I guess we can keep the rarer staff here, so we'll keep that. Uh, we don't need this, honestly. We'll sell that... The leadership cap is nice, but not needed, because we already got something for leadership. Fortifying old cap. Yeah, we're fine. We can sell that. Blessed old helmet is a leadership item, but it requires strength 7, which we don't have for our caster. Uh, we'll keep... Alright, we'll sell the leadership. We'll sell this one as well. Don't need the initiative. Okay, that's weaker, this is weaker, weaker, weak. I could get a higher quality armor here. This is a level 8 armor, so this requires a strength of 9. So we could probably forge that into something new, I suspect. Robes are level 5, level 6 here, level 7 we'll keep for now. Telekinesis and pickpocketing we're going to keep for now. Uh, we're gonna s keep the... Eh, we'll sell the air resistance and movement. Uh, fire resistance and movement. You know what? I've got a better idea. We'll keep at least a air fire resistance and... We'll sell the lore masters. Uh, pickpocketing and initiative are... Well, the pickpocketing is gonna be nice, so we'll keep that. Leather boots. We'll sell all those, I think. 
Okay, we'll keep those. We'll keep these boots because they are clearly a little bit more powerful. If only for the fire and air resistance. Uh, the leather gloves should be fine. We'll sell the mundane ones. And we've got a lockpick and a blacksmithing one, which we'll keep. Alright, I think that's it for gear. And let's see, what can we get for Steve? Because he does have at least uh, novice skills to work with. Okay, we're gonna go... Hmm. Uh, regeneration is not good for us. We can use the rain skill book. We'll grab that. That is going to be nice. We'll grab Avatar of Frost, I suppose. And we can grab one more from the list, I do believe. Which, nothing really seems to stand out except the Water of Life skill book. I could go with the Ice Shard, though. Yeah, let's grab Ice Shard, because you never know when that's going to be useful. We already have Blitz Bolt. Uh, we don't have Bitter Cold, though. Uh, we could use Avatar of Storms, get immune to electrifying. Head Vice would grant Blinded. We've already got Teleports, so we got we can only choose one book, I think. I think we're going to want to get rid of Petrified Slower Stuns, or we go with something else entirely. I think Avatar of Storms is just better, so we'll grab that. We'll grab a ton of lockpicks. We'll grab a ton of disarm toolkits, I suppose. And I think that's it, unless I can think of anything else, which I can't, so... Let us... Add gold to match, which is certainly not enough. <laughs> uh, we can go for the Venomous Strike, I suppose. Poison your target, dealing... Mm, that's a poison that requires dagger, never mind. Okay, that's off the table, but I can grab some mundane stuff, so we'll grab arrow shafts. I'll grab... Uh... I guess I can grab some metal scraps and scale scraps. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's a bit weird, I must admit. I'm not sure why that is, but I guess that's just how the game plays, right? Okay, we're gonna go for lightweight stuff to compensate for our troubles. Well, let's see, hold on. These light golden cups are miscellaneous, I guess? Alright, we got spoons at the end of time, and we got actual golden stuff. We'll sell the spoons, I suppose. There we go. We can get some, uh, cups. Well, we'll sell those. Studded gold cups, light gold cups. Yeah, let's get cheap golden stuff if we want more money. Okay. Hold on. Alright, let's see. These are actual golden weapons, it seems. Okay, we can get a light gold cup, a heavy gold teaspoon, or something else. Honestly, I'll grab the arrowheads here. I'll grab these smoke grenades. I'll grab this Sovereign's Orb. Right, we got the motor and pestle. We got... I guess we can go with a stamped ring kit if we... Worst case, I suppose. Um... Bodybuilder's Belt. That's actually going to be pretty good. Let's grab that. And I guess we can finish it off there, so we can get a bunch of attitude from her. Okay, Steve. Let's see. Summon Nick Skillbook. Oh! <laughs> Nick's attack deal crushing damage and may inflict a disease. His unique skill may impress or nauseate you, depending on your tolerance to fine limbs. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not a fan of the uh, echoes from the uh, town market either. It's just a repeat. It, it's painful to hear. I, I need to move back from this. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> Alright, so Steve. Uh, we're going to sort by type. Just make... Oh, great. Even more noise. Great. Okay, let's see. Yeah, no. 
It's so annoying, I must admit. I might actually just add the mod just for the sake of it. Just to make our lives a little easier, but... Until I actually get to that point, you know. Uh, I'll give it some thought. Maybe I'll add it next time. Well, while I'm uh, doing this stuff. Okay, what do we got here? We've got... One that increases initiative and HP. Got some robust armor, a leadership cap. Eh. I'm not a fan of the poison resistance, though. Because that just makes their healing worse, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, there's this ring that we f forgot to identify, which is a bonus to perception. Uh, bonus to perception and f .55 movements. I think we can get rid of the fire resistance in favor of this. It's only a 9 boost, I do believe, and the perception, if I'm not mistaken, really helps a lot. Oh, not really. We'll be fine. Okay, but I'm gonna start doing some repairs. Alright, let's see. Okay, repair. Okay, I think we got as much as we could. Okay. Oh, we got a right click to repair. My bad. Well, at least Steve's doing well with the repairs. Yeah. Repair. 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 Uh, the trinkets seem to be unblemished, so that's good. Now we can have a... Uh, Uh, we'll send that to... S I guess we'll use... Go to Steve and start repairing. Okay. I mean, I think I got it. Hold on. Okay, hold on. Oh, there we go. I can just open both of them. I, I'm just being dumb now. Alright, let's, uh... Uh, that's not what I wanted, but okay. Alright. Oh, I have to double-click the repair hammer here. Then I right-click on the item. Then I can repair it. Okay, I think I got everything repaired for the most part. Uh, only except the helm. Okay, there we go. That took a bit of effort, but I managed to uh, figure out how to repair in other people's inventory, so that works. Okay. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we do have to go back some... We have to go back, but we're going to go to the Black Coast specifically. But the reason for that is because we have a gate to open. An ominous gate, no less. With a dragon. I'm not sure if I'm high level enough to deal with this dragon, but I think I am. So we'll have to see. At least I hope I am. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Alright, the Black Ominous Gate begins, and we'll see what happens. Okay, we get 630 EXP for going here. See what the rat has to say here. Good day to you. Uh, no, I think I can just, uh, actually learn the skill. Yeah. It's basically a summon. <laughs> uh, it appears to be a 12-turn cooldown, and I should probably put that on Marcus, which is my mistake just instinctively. And I, yeah, no. <sighs> Whatever. 
I'm such a dumbass. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh well. It is a special summon, so it's fine. Yeah, no, it's it's okay. We'll, we'll be so might as well add a zombie to the mix. Okay, skills. I guess it's in special. No, it's not in equipment. It's in special. So here we go. We get our second slot, and we will put Zombie Nick here. And he will be our most costly to use. Well, aside from, of course, the skeleton. Or the spider, rather. But I digress. Hello. Alright, good to know. A dead dragon? Who could have bested one of Rivalon's most ancient creatures? I'd wager someone, or something, made mad and mighty by source. No, no worries. No worries, uh, Ninja. It's no fault on your end. It's my fault for uh, using the Nick thing. <laughs> I was uh, so eager to try it, so it it's fine. My great great granddad used to tell me about a great red stone that made the local fauna fierce enough to take on these dragons. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Rat Two. Oh wow! You haven't been pinched in half or drowned. Does that mean you're brave enough to help Desdemona? She sure misses Samson. Samson? Oh, hello! Do you... Do you suppose that's what destroyed those dragons? Oh, goody! I suppose sizing me up like so much rump roast. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> it's drawing water from the sea. It'll use it against us unless we can stop it. All right. Um. Before we do, let's do a quick save because I goodness knows I'm going to need it. <laughs> we of course are going to be stuck here if we do uh, fail, but we should be able to handle it. Okay, that failed, but we can go for another strike there. Alright, uh, hey Nick, could you help a brother out? <laughs> yeah, goodness knows we're going to need a bit of help here. Alright, the spiders are going in. Alright, they're doing some attacks. Not fun. But it could be a lot worse. <laughs> no wonder that rat was mentioning spiders. Ow. Okay. My turn through the gauntlet with pleasure. Oh, his foot deals 123 to 135 crushing damage. It could rain. Okay, Nick, throw your foot, I suppose. Oh, great. Uh, that healed. That's not fun. Alright. Okay, you're gonna use wet on him. Eh, it's fine. Alright, let's just start smacking, I suppose. Get as many hits as possible. It's not that bad. <laughs> hey, we even got crit. Nice. Shall I start from the top or the 
Um, both preferably, if you can. <laughs> All right, uh, we're gonna have Marcus, or no, we're gonna have Nick go over. Let us boost the accuracy of Marcus first. Then we're going to increase the damage of Marcus, given his given the status currently. And we're going to boost Steve's armor just so he doesn't suffer as much. That way we can, you know, prep for the worst. Oh, thank goodness, they're attacking... Okay, they're attacking him. That makes our lives easier. It may have. It may have. It's possible. Either way, I'm not minding. Like, that, that just helps us in the long run. That's for sure. Okay, just... <laughs> Okay, the spider's helping us immensely, it seems. I'm not complaining, either. Well, there goes the spider. Now we just gotta deal with the spiderlings. So, now we're gonna move Marcus over there. We'll get Steve going here. End his turn so he's got more actions to work with. Go with the spider. Oh! Oh! It actually heals from my attacks, which is not good. So, yeah. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> uh, it's fine. We've got things to actually counteract this, so... I guess let's just pelt the Spiderling here with a Thorn. With an insta-kill, no less. That's nice. Alright, they're targeting our poor boy Nick. But he's tanking blows like a true champ. Yeah, no, I don't regret getting Nick as a summon. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're gonna go for the spider link here. Oh, instant death. Nice. <laughs> well, that wasn't bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Color. Interesting. Okay, and I identify this. And let's see, what else we got? Identify this. We got a staff. Okay, these are the five, rough, roughly the five items that we got. Okay, the dagger has a chance to set chilled and poisoned. The helmet gives percept, or leadership rather, I should say. But it does give a way higher... It, way, it gives a way higher armor value, which is usually the focus with uh, how I go with Marcus. Because the higher the armor rating, the higher the block, naturally. Fire resistance and water resistance is just a boon instead of pickpocketing, so we'll keep pickpocketing for later. But we could do with putting the pickpocketing, or the uh, keep stuff down here. We'll put uh, perception here, we'll get... I guess the bodybuilding can go on instead of the other one. Yeah, no, crafting and initiative goes there, so we put that there. Okay, that's bodybuilding. This is crafting and initiative. Okay, this is pickpocketing ring. Initiative, lockpicking, bracers, blacksmithing, bracers... Okay, we got these, which are actually a little bit better, so we'll get those on instead. This is... Okay, so fire and air resistance, fire and water resistance. Okay, I think that's as much as we can do. I guess there's pickpocketing boots as well. Although those are better pickpocketing boots, so we'll put those away. These are pickpocketing bracers, so I guess we'll keep those for pickpocketing if we want it. Okay, I think that's it, unless we want perception. The dagger we'll probably keep, but yeah, they're they're rare items, so we're keeping them. I've spotted something.
Ah, a chest. That shovel has proven worth its weight, it seems. Indeed. And who knows what manner of riches we'll unearth together with this tried and true treasure digger. Enough to finish this mission with a long vacation in the tropics, gazing side by side at a burgundy horizon, if we're lucky. Yep. <laughs> Quite the greedy group. Alright, heavier crossbow and a dagger that we're not going to be using. Yeah, it's fine. At least we're getting juicy gold out of it. Nice smoke grenade. Alright. Whom might you be? Your, your flesh. Why, you're positively radiating. It's been years since a warm blood has wandered through these caverns. An utterly lovely sight. Yes, a warm blood. As we look to our zombie flesh. What are you doing down here? I know not. I know so little. My life in full, I recall. From my earliest memories to my most recent sorrows. But why I should be trapped in this spectral form, I cannot say. How did you die? I was on board a ship from Arata to Sicil. The night was black as ink, and the lighthouse in the distance offered us no aid. The ship's hull soon met the cragged shallows, and we were all of us lost. The thing I can least reconcile is that my own husband, my Samson, keeps the lighthouse. What could have become of him that night? My mind races with the possibilities. Okay, tell me more about your recent troubles then. Gossipers. They nearly ruined me. In life, I was a natural philosopher, you see. A student of the stars. Oh, I remember you. You're the person that the other person is uh, lamenting over because you technically killed them for not turning on the lighthouse. Arata, an elfish land not so far from Sicil, happens to boast the finest telescope in all of Rivalon. So I set sail, planning to spend several weeks there enhancing my research. When I arrived, I found an instant friend in the telescope's keeper, an elfish scientist named Falada. We had much to share concerning our studies, and found great joy in one another's company. It was a friendship as pure as starlight, but that didn't keep the rumors from flying. As the insinuations became increasingly vile, I thought it best to sail back to Sicil straight away, and to introduce Faladar, my friend, to Samson, my only love, putting any and all foul rumors to rest. As you know, though, we never made it. Faladar is lost forever. And what has become of my darling Samson, I know not. Yeah, I've met Samson's go ghost at the lighthouse. He's filled with regret after having pers purposely sunk your ship. He... he could never. You mean to say he left us to those savage waters on purpose? I, I can't believe it. And yet, if what you say is true, well, I must meet him in any case. To the lighthouse, you said? Fine. Yes. Before you go... Eh, you got some interesting stuff. I'll take that. There you go. Alright. That's quite the valuable gift. Only the best for my favorite partner. Your kindness is a great comfort to me. I'll return this favor at the earliest possible moment. Yeah, these these guys are chummy. Then again, it is a necromancer and his minion, so... You can only get so much out of it. <laughs> okay, is there anything hidden away before we go? I don't think there is. Yeah, no. I think we go to teleport to the... No, not the secluded breach. We want to go to... I think the... Derelict Harbor? If I'm not mistaken? No, not the Derelict Harbor. We're going to the Desolated Farms, I believe. That will get us out of this area. And get us closest to the lighthouse. To see the end result of that uh, conversation. 
and what ultimately happens between them. And I think that will uh, finish the quest ultimately. Okay, but that's Kitty Love apparently. So we've got Sam's Collar. So we can complete that quest. And then we got the uh, Lighthouse issue. So we'll go there. And we'll see how things are playing out here. If we're lucky, things will stop raining, but I highly doubt it. <laughs> Time to see a lover squirrel. Desdemona, my love. There we go. I should have known you would never betray me. I should have known your love to be as constant as the sky. Madness took hold of my heart, and with razor nails scratched murderous intent into its depths. Thankfully, I don't actually own any fire spells, so that's actually a good thing, I think, in a weird sort of way. And yet, look at us now. Not even death could impede our reunion. I beg of you, my love. Unintentionally, but yes. With but a word, you can heal my heart. Efface the scars that lunacy left there. Forgive me, my wife, my own. Forgive me. You. You've heard the whole story by now. Perhaps you can help me settle my mind. Half of me is furious, and the other half is utterly enraged. What do you think of my murderer husband? Hmm. Samson is truly repentant. Desdemona ought to forgive him, so they can both move on. Repentance or no, Samson, in a fit of jealousy, committed many souls to the depths. He deserves no forgiveness. What benefit will Desdemona gain from refusing to forgive Samson? All you're doing is asking them both to suffer. I wouldn't forgive your murderer until I'd made him suffer for eternity. I'm sure you'd feel the same. Alright, now I've got a windy argument. Rock. Rip. Rock. Boom. And paper. There we go. <laughs> okay, I think Steve wins this argument today. <laughs> no, we'll do as I say. I suppose... I suppose you're right. The deed is done, and I can do naught but move forward now. Samson, I do forgive you. I do. Shining soul, my love. From its incomparable purity, even the diamond hides its dull complexion and shame. The nightmare is at an end. We are together again, and shall remain so evermore. Yes, the past is the past, my darling. Let's go forward together now, hand in hand into the next life. Well, that's that. And for our troubles, well, yeah. For our troubles, we just got a bunch of experience, so it's not all bad, to be honest. But hey, it just means we get more HP to work. Well, not HP, but we get more experience that we can use to uh, help us in the near future. We're going to go immediately to the North Gate now, and we're going to finish the uh, next quest. On online. We're gonna go to the tavern and talk with our good old cat buddy to complete that quest because we've got the pet talker, which is always nice. <laughs> Alright, unsinkable Sam. What's with you, bipeds and beer? No better drink than milk. 
Yeah, about Maxine. Whiskers, you found my collar? Oh, thank you. Bless you. I shall don it right this instant and hie me to Maxine as fast as my paws can carry me. You have made me the happiest cat in the world. Indeed you have. Yeah, sure. Have a good one. All right, I guess we'll see uh <laughs> Yeah, I guess we'll see the results of that, I suppose. <laughs> Maxine, my love, look at me. I am wearing it. The collar I told you about. The one you told me was but the fancy of a dream. Here it is. A band of jewels, such as no one in Sicile has ever beheld. Ah, dear me. Joker looks absolutely fabulous on you. Simply smashing. I can't believe it's real. Oh, darling Sam, you are a tom of me. Ah, thanks for the follow, Atreus. Much appreciated. I am, my little tigress. Behold my true color and marry me. Make me yours, and my very life I shall dedicate. Yeah, the music's nice, I must admit. <laughs> oh. What a passionate puss you are, my darling Sam. As impetuous as ever. But indeed you do seem to have the right and reason to be. Oh, I shall hold you in suspense no longer. Yes, my dear Sam, I will marry you. With a word, you have stopped my heart. And Jeez. With untold the gushing. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, we've just, uh, made the cat's romance, I suppose. And so Sam's story has a happy end after all. There was quite a bit of troubled water to be crossed, but in the end, Maxine turns out to really love him. Does she, though? She said yes the instant she saw the jewels in his collar. If it weren't for his wealth, she wouldn't give him the time of day. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Just thinking about that makes That's me a little concerned. Sure Can't see him Who? Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Our leadership. Ally has leadership two. We have leadership five. Yeah. Okay. So nothing went wrong. Okay. Uh, that just leaves how many quests? A lot, I would presume. Yeah, we've got Kitty Love, Lost at Love at the Lighthouse, Headless Nick, Into the Dark. Another crazed mage and a grieving orc has been done. Okay. Hmm. What do we do next? We need to go to Silver Glen. We need to figure out who stole her sheep for Bertia. Uh, we've... Esmeralda says she didn't commit the murder, but we need to figure out if... Okay. Undead Baron, he told us... Okay. We talked to Unsinkable Sam, and he told us about Ebenezer's savage past. Okay, I do believe we have to deal with a very particular individual next. Because I do recall something at the Necromancer's Grave. I think it's high time we talk to Altraeus. If only to, uh... Not that I'm really fond of the dude, but hey. Dude's just being really stuck up at this point. Well, we'll see if we can get permission to talk with, uh, Esmeralda and, uh, try and figure out more about her, uh, situation. Yeah, yeah. The, uh, captain, quote-unquote. The source hunter. Oh, joyous hour. All right. Still not finished with that sorry matter? Yeah, no. Jeez. Well, have you Esmeralda. Found incriminating evidence against her? If so, let's have it. On the subjects 
of Jake's corpse. Stolen? Gods, what a fool that Roberts is. Taking a bribe in beleaguered old Sysil. Ah, what was he going to do with that gold? Buy the largest kipper in the land? Yes, yes. Well, I assume it hasn't crawled back to its grave. So have you found any suspect? Um... Well, we can't mention him, but a certain Evelyn was mentioned, I do believe. Well, no, let's change the subject. Uh, if I do recall correctly, there is some information regarding it. I just need to figure... find it. Let's see... Investigate Lighthouse, potential hotbed... Okay, no, that's not it. No, we need to go into Marcus because he does have the inventory for it. Uh, let's go by latest added. Let's see, not that. No, pirate notes. Okay, no, this is not it. Uh, merchant apple tree? Nope. Where is it? Elemental mine? No. Forgotten language of fairy. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out where it was. Diary? No, this is an old one. Okay, uh, miscellaneous. We need to go by latest added, naturally. Nick's diary. Okay. Hmm. Order of Source Hunters, Reginald Diary. Okay, yeah, no, that's not it. Uh, Robert's Diary? Furthermore, I find it impossible that any but Mayor Cecile, Captain Altreus, Evelyn, or Esmeralda would have been able to gain access to the body without my noticing. Corpse can't just vanish into thin air, and even if it could, it's not as though a strong wind could blow a sack of gold onto an empty slab. No, okay. Okay, so it's described that Mayor Cecil, Captain Altruis, Evelyn, or Esmeralda could have done it. But we don't have any proof that any of them have done so just yet. Which sucks. I would love to slap him a bit, but <laughs> he's going to go immediately hostile and just make things a lot worse for us. No, we need to, uh... I've, I've sort of resolved, like, a little bit of a, uh... I've got a rough idea for the alignment of this group so far. Marcus is a bit more stern than Steve, from what I go through. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it sucks, but... Yeah, I've got an alignment set for these guys. Steve is a bit more uh, forgiving than Marcus. Marcus is a bit more stern on the law, so if somebody breaks the law, then... Yeah. I just want to keep things every... You know, keep it linear, linear to some degree. But I'm still going to need to figure out how I'm going to find them, so I might need to take up a tutorial here. Well, we finished that. Okay. See if we can find actual evidence that conclusively links her to her husband's death. We haven't found anything outside. Yeah, we can't access that. Maybe we can access up here? We'll do a quick save, just to be sure. Because you never know. I wouldn't want to go upstairs and just uh, be immediately accused.
Get the key. Anything in a chest? Yoink. <laughs> and nobody was the wiser. Okay, well, let's see. We can get in through the back here, I suppose. And, ooh, there is actually something here. But we're gonna have to be sneaky about it, so... I think we go stealth here. All right. Okay, we're going to quickly save here. Just to be safe, you know. Okay, uh, all right. Okay, yeah, no, we're gonna be sneaking in, and we're gonna try and find something here. Why would she have this book? That's an interesting book to have, but okay. Read. We'll yoink these just in case. About setting up the perfect crime. Esmeralda has interesting taste in literature. Okay. Okay, I guess we'll send that to Marcus. Send to Marcus, there we go. Down into here. See what's what. Alright. Where's Jake? Did he finally run off with that white haired woman? What was her name? Candice? Ah, I see. A, a rat of literature, I see. I think that was, yes. I'd go in and see if I were tall enough to reach the button. Say. Yeah, same. I can't believe a rat in this early age do the Candace beam. God. Okay, but apparently there's a button around here, hidden away. Yeah. <laughs> send to Marcus, send to Marcus, there we go. Yeah, same. Well, not really same, but this is my first run through of the game, so I. Yeah. Hello, rat. Esmeralda carries lots of cuts of meat. She carves them up herself, you know. An expert knife at that one. Huh. Okay. An egg. A bloody dagger. 
could this have been involved in the crime? A zombie painting? It certainly piques one's interest, doesn't it? I'm sorry, what? A zombie painting? Alright, take that, this, and identify before sending it to Marcus. Yep, there we go. But yeah, let's go stealth first before we do anything else. Yeah, that is a lot of hap indeed. <laughs> yeah, we're in the basement of a supposed murderer. We're going to have to investigate this matter though, really properly though. We're gonna close this door, make sure it's, you know... Make make sure it's not looking suspicious at all. Alright, close that. And now we have a choice. We can either confront Esmeralda, or we can go to the Captain of the Guard about it. But the Bloody Dagger certainly paints a bloody picture. Yeah, let's confront Esmeralda about this. Let's figure out what's going on. But yeah, no, welcome, Ploof. Welcome. Alright. Hello, Esmeralda. The hunter returns. I hope you are here to shop rather than sleuth. Let's discuss your husband's murder. Listen, if you're gonna accuse me of something, you would better find the evidence to back up your ridiculous claims. I found your book about planning the perfect murder. Oh, that horrid tome of ill repute. It isn't mine, it was Jake's. He was a politician, don't you see? Always on the lookout for plotting rivals. Always trying to be one step ahead. Really, I should have thought a source hunter of all people would appreciate my dear husband's sense for survival. Ah, I see. Well, welcome. If you ever want to chat, just let me know. I'm happy to uh, oblige. Then care to explain the bloody knife, please? Perhaps it is you who should explain your presence in my cellar. And the dagger? It's simply a butcher knife used by my late husband to cut meat. He did so love to cook, the deer. What will you think of next? Accusing me of bashing him over the head with a frying pan? Alright, fine. It seems that's not enough. Strong and handsome officer you are, kind Septimus. Hmm. You must have fought many a battle. Leave me be, I have a job to do. Yeah, I feel like there's more to this story than meets the eye. But I'm not sure. Hmm. The easiest way would be to pickpocket her when she's sleeping, but I'm not entirely certain that's the way to go about it. Hmm. Is there anything else I can do here? Hmm. Okay, maybe I should ask some people around town. Maybe I can get a get a read. Maybe the what? mayor has something. Oh, it's you! What news? Uh, maybe what this. Would you like to discuss? Jake, murdered most of the towers. Okay, no. Imagine. I've known Esmeralda for years. That business between her and the Duke of Ferrell was always a bit um, suggestive. An all right bloke, apart from all this Esmeralda nonsense. 
The whole town knows the only goal of his business trips to Sicil is to spend a night or two at the King Crab Inn with Mrs. Counselor. All right, so let's go see the Miss Counselor then. Whomever that may be. Wait, didn't we meet the counselor then? Hmm. Okay. Where is the counselor? Well, maybe. Hello again. Hmm. How can I help you? Psst. Mind if we keep our voices down over that sense, Counselor Jake? That poor man. I knew too much about his affairs, you know. Never figured it my okay. business to say anything, but after all that's happened, I wonder if that weren't a grave mistake. Maybe. Esmeralda's longest standing lover has the audacity to remain lodged at this very inn, you know. He's called the Duke of Ferrell. A high title for a low man. If you haven't yet asked him about Esmeralda, I'd recommend it. Okay, so the Duke of Ferrell is somewhere here, apparently. Welcome be, my friend. Waitress, another round of beers, if you please. Uh, hold on. Let's go upstairs first, because if the Duke of Ferrol is upstairs, then that might make things a bit more clear. Because he's apparently up here. Sereth, citizen, a citizen. Where is he? Where's the Duke? It could be the girl here, maybe? Maybe I can find some information here. Who knows, maybe. We'll see. Greetings, greetings. Oh, you are most welcome in my chamber. Customers rarely find me up here, but I do so abhor the hustle and bustle of the marketplace. Oh, you're a merchant. Let's see what you got. Oh! So this is how you get the more sneaky skill books. I see, I see. Well, that makes my life a whole lot easier, learning about this information. Okay, we can get poison resistance, poison resistance, no. But we're definitely going to grab the ring, which gives boost to strength. Uh, let's see. What else is there? Uh, we can get destroy summon, low resistances, drain willpower... Increases target will's power by 5. Makes a target decay. Uh, Rapture. Charm a target. That's nice. Oath of Desecration. Interesting. Uh, if I do recall correctly, I have 2 points, so I can get 5 Nova skills. Uh, we're going to go with... I think Malediction is a good one. Yeah, no, if I go with Rapture, which is a charm status, that's going to help us immensely. If we go with Oath of Desecration, or we've already got Oath of Desecration, so that's one. We've got the Zombie Summon, we've also got the... What is it, the other one? Um, wait, hold on. So I've got... Well, Bless is a... Uh, Bless is a earth magic spell, if I'm not mistaken. So Rapture should be fine, so that'll be a third uh, necromancy book, which is Adept, it seems. We'll get Malediction, because that's a Novus, so that's four. So we can get one more, if we want. And we can get Vampiric Touch here, if we want a heal. 200% chance to heal 77 Vitality. Hmm. I think that's actually going to harm us if we don't use poison specifically, so... We're gonna grab lower resistances, I suppose. That'll give it a 4-5, and we can get another Adept spell, if we wish. Uh, adept. Deal immense damage to a summoned creature. This'll probably kill any summons other people summon. Or we can decrease the target's willpower by 5. Decrease... Decreases willpower to make enemies more susceptible to mind attacks. High intelligence improve this spell. Yeah, I'll we'll grab that. Okay, for the more secretive ones, let's see. 
We're going to want to grab Adrenaline for Scoundrel, and then we're going to get... Let's see. We need Novice Ones. Uh, winged Feet will make us immune to surfaces. Uh, we can get Fast Track, which we already have, so we just need one other one. Uh, trip. Knock down a target, deals 30 to 32 crushing damage. You don't need a dagger to make that happen, though, so that's good. Uh, walk in shadow sets invisible status. We're gonna grab trip, though. There we go. Alright, for Marcus, however, for cells, we're gonna sell most of the mundane things that we don't need. Yeah, so we don't need the weapons here. We'll keep the dagger, we'll sell the heavier crossbow. The staves are fine. Okay. Gonna sell this branch, I suppose. Can you keep that dagger? Uh, we'll sell this cap. We'll sell the robes. Or at least the level 6 ones. We'll keep the level 7 and 8 runs. Uh, perception Unbreakable. We'll keep. Initiative we can sell. Perception keep. Well, do we need... No, no. We're fine without it. Uh, air resistance we'll keep. Fire resistance. Well, no, we'll sell those. Why not? Crafting initiative we keep. Pickpocket initiative. Initiative we sell here. Okay, fire and water resistance. I think we'll actually give those to Steve, perhaps. Pickpocketing we keep. Pickpocketing. Blacksmithing. Lockpicking. Okay, that's that. Okay, we can probably sell a bunch of these golden cups. We'll sell these studded golden cups as well. Sell the plates. Keep those bottles. I don't think we're going to need a Malachite if it's miscellaneous, so we'll sell that. Okay, I think we're good. Ingredients. I think that's as much as we're going to get off, so we're going to... Uh, balance it out. Maybe give a thousand back, just so we're actually, you know, getting some alignment with her. Oh! Nope, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to give you a thousand extra. There we go. There we go. Now we got 99, 91 uh, prof profit off that. I take it you're a traveling merchant, then. I have spent more of my life on the road traveling alongside great caravans than I have in any given place in Rivalon. All of this earth is my home, for a few days or even but a few hours at a time, that is. You wouldn't believe some of the things I have seen. Oh yes, a city besieged by the dead isn't even remotely special to me. All the better that it isn't for you and for me. Because outlandish events lead to outlandish wares. Right, I'll take my leave. Thanks for the wares. <sighs> okay, bodyguard doesn't like us. I see. Okay, but it doesn't seem like our, uh... Duke is up here, per se, is he? Unless he's somewhere here. In which case, I'm gonna have to pick the lock, I guess. Pop that open. Gonna get sneaky bricky. Bottles, a chest. I guess we'll take these while we're at it. Yoink. Might as well. Okay. All right, let's uh, unsneak. thing. Okay, where's... I guess the Duke is here? Yeah, the Duke is right here. I'm just being blind about it. 
Hey, Duke, buddy. Ah, hello. I suppose you're here to viciously interrogate me for information I don't have, like our noble Captain Aureus before you. I've heard you quite the story involving you and Esmeralda. Yes, she and I have a history. That's hardly a secret anymore. I quite doubt it was even a secret from Jake while he lived. As easy as it would be to pin suspicions on Esmeralda or I, I assure you that the affair was never so steamy and sordid as the busybodies around town make it out to be. Jake and Esmeralda had no great affection for each other. He had his interests, she had hers, and there was little passion left between them. Certainly not enough to fuel a murder. Right, I see. Well, I'm going to do this solid for you, my dude. Just to keep you on the hush-hush. Just a little bit. Take about... 500 gold and be done with it. Yep. Just to, uh, return our attitude. What do you know about Jake's murder, then? It's very tragic news. I won't posture and say that the Counselor and I were anything near allies, but I truly never wish the man harm. Alright, so it seems their relationship, uh, doesn't lead to anything. Hmm. Okay, hmm. Maybe we should read that book again. Maybe that'll lead us to a clue of where it might be. Okay, where was it? It was in his inventory, Marcus's, so... Maybe that might be a better clue to figuring out where this case might lead us. Uh, latest added, naturally. Uh, not the pirate notes. Alright, uh, sort by latest. Okay, maybe it's on Steve. It's on Misk, obviously. Latest added. Here we go. Uh, the perfect murder. Let's see. Okay. There are several questions to consider when determining life. Okay. Is the head of your intended vi victim sufficiently round? Okay. Pretty creepy book. Choosing a modus apprendi. Alright. Hours are fine for sportive types. A dagger turns the carpet red as Valentine. Okay. Hmm. A dagger turns the carpet as red as Valentine. Interesting. In the end, select a method you believe is best accomplishes the moral and spiritual effects you desire. Okay. Precise event where life flees a victim. Considering we were dealing with a, a explosion of fire, then... Hmm. Okay. The easiest, most classical is... Okay, the bury remains, but think long and hard about precisely which remains to bury. Okay. That waste is sure sin, so if there is yet some function that may be wrought from one person's remains, it is imperative that you do so. Oh. So it might be the cooking. Oh. I think that might be it. Or at least that's what I'm getting from here. I have a very, very bad suspicion and I'm worried if it is correct. Oh dear. Hmm. 
In that case, the ham might be more than it seems. Hold on. I'm gonna have to do a quick stealth check to make sure. Because if it is correct, oh god. But yeah, I should probably go back here and double check. Like a very bad, well, if it doesn't end up being anything, then whatever, but. Maybe. No, okay. Thing hidden away. Cloth scraps, no. Anything in the bookshelves? Nope. Hmm. something else out. We'll get back to sneaking and we'll see what else we can find. Maybe I have to access her inventory and she might have it on her personage. Assure me, dear Septimus, that you haven't been fighting those all. All right. Let's go over here. And let's see about trying to talk with her again, and maybe I can get some trade in. Maybe I can find it in her inventory, literally. Because I feel with the nature of the crime, it There's a bunch of meat that she's been doing. Let me see what you got for trade. Okay, you got charm scrolls, rain scrolls, got some weapons and stuff. Hmm. Okay, nothing that entails that uh, things have been going here. Or going on bad here, anyways. Yeah, there's no seemingly any obscure meats that would have appeared. Okay. So for... Good, uh... Out something else. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick Google search. Maybe it's gonna be necessary here. Give me a second. Because, of course, this game is very vague in some instances, which sucks, but, you know, that's just how it be. Alright. Oh, I see. Ah, so that's it. Okay. Okay, so I did a quick Google search and I found what I was looking for. There's a very, very specific way you need to go about doing this. Okay, so let's see. If we go all the way over here into the murder case... We found it. 
Dearest Esme, your lips are as red as emerald, your hair as black as birch, your love is like cholesterol, and oh my heart it hurts. I want to hold you in my arms and stroke your little head, and all it would be easier if Counselor Jake were dead. Forever yours, the DFF. It's official. The Duke of Feral is the worst poet in Rivalon. <laughs> in his defense, not much rhymes with. Yeah, okay. Now we need to decide, uh... Hold on, let's see. Okay, okay. Okay, you then need to return, okay. Alright, so we're going to discuss... Yeah, I mean, hmm. We need to decide uh, who we're gonna... I think we need to decide on Esmeralda, because she might be guilty here. Uh, let's see. Uh, one second. Okay. Yeah, the poem just adds to the evidence, it seems. Hmm. I'm not sure. Ah well, it don't matter. Our job is to solve the murder after all, so... Alright, in regards to Jake's wife Esmeralda... Let's discuss this knife. So, you found a blooded knife in Esmeralda's cellar. Guess you can scratch the top candidate off your list of cliched clues, then. Not exactly enough to arrest her for, is it? Yeah, in regards to this book... How to plan the perfect murder. Really? Really? She might as well wear a dress with the words, I killed Jake and I liked it, embroidered on it. But that alone wouldn't suffice to convince me. So convince me, Hunter, and keep looking. Yeah, on the subject of this letter. Hmm, the knife, the book, the letter. They seem harmless enough by themselves, but in conjunction they do paint a pretty grim picture. Fine then. If you're certain she did it, then I shall have Esmeralda arrested. Your responsibility, Source Hunter. All right. Uh, on the subject of Jake's corpse. Stolen? Yes, yes. Well, I assume it hasn't mm. crawled back to its grave. So have you found any suspect? Uh, have we found a subject? No, I, I'm gonna... Let's change the subject for now. We'll, we'll deal with the... We'll start with one person and then go to the next. Because we will need to find where the body went, ultimately, so... We should probably confirm where that might be first, before we, you know, jump to conclusions. We don't want to falsely accuse somebody, after all. Better to be safe than sorry. That's for sure. Alright, uh, we're probably going a bit too far, yeah. We need to go over to here. And go into the building here. All right, off we go. Let's go talk. Yes. So Esmeralda, hey, hey. For returns. I hope you are here to shop rather than sleuth. Let's discuss your husband's murder. So, what piece of irrefutable evidence are you about to present me with this time? This love letter seems kind of incriminating. Oh, don't put stock in the hastily scribbled words of a lovelorn fool. This letter, it was a show of passion. A poorly worded passion I did not echo in the least. The Duke, he's like a spoiled child. He's not a man. He's not like Septimus. 
We found so much evidence against you. Had you better not confess? But all of it is circumstantial. I have a perfectly logical explanation for every piece of so-called evidence against me, and yet you've been trailing me like a bloodhound. People seem to want to believe I am guilty, so let me tell you something I've been keeping to myself. Perhaps it may yet lead to the true culprit. All right. Over the last few months, Jake grew distant. Distant and dark somehow. Something in him changed. I can't quite put my finger on it, but he was no longer the gentle man he used to be. In fact, he scared me. It all began the day he met Evelyn, Master Thelirum's apprentice. She healed him of what we all believed to be a fatal wound he suffered hunting boars. I think he became obsessed by her, or obsessed by the secrets I just know she holds. Talk to this woman. There is more to her than meets the eye. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if she belongs to that sect. You know, to those who worship a goddess without name and practice rituals of blood. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Tell me about Evelyn, then. I never liked her from the moment I met her. Men cannot see past her beauty, but I have gazed her in the eye, and it was death that leered back at me. She hails from Silver Glen, a village in the forest north of Sysium. How she made it past the undead without a legion escort, I'll never know. Though I can hazard an eerie guess. If anyone killed my Jake, it must be her. She had her claws in him for many long months, and finally she must have cut too deeply. All right. The plot thickens, it seems. I guess we have to talk with Evelyn, then, just to confirm. And, to be honest, most of our stuff is circumstantial at best. So even if we wanted to confirm whether she was the murderer or not, we don't actually have proper proof just yet. Technically, I guess we can turn her in, though, because we do have enough proof. So we can technically complete our mission, but our job isn't done until the fat lady sings, I guess, is the best word to put it in. Okay. All right. Two. What's that glee? A uh, key to Evelyn's house, an old key. Should probably have Marcus open it. Grab those. Let's identify these before we pick them up. Got some gold, got a paper knife, I suppose, that's... With cloth scraps. Doesn't appear to be anything, uh, openly. Yeah, there's nothing here, which does suck.
Let's see, I think we have to go to Evelyn's house to see what's going on now. Okay. Alright. Alright, seems we're saving now. Curious parchment. Evelyn, T tells me the hour is nigh. The king will live again. When the stone is secured, I will be unstoppable. Surely you've heard about my sister already. Gone forever. There is so little that stands in our way now. Redouble your devotion, for the wards are inconceivable. We shall meet again do soon. Sign the conduit. Through blood her power flows. Through blood her tribes grows. Okay. Take that. What's this? Reanimation serum. Boil the last mint sprouts of the season with a sludge made of one parts crow eye jelly to four parts, sour, four parts sour holy water. Add the tear of the blind beetle and let stand for two moons. There are two hastily scribbled notes at the bottom of the parchment. The first reads, King Crab Inn, Mortician, Evening. The second reads, Esmeralda, Evening Business. Oh. Oh, the pieces are coming together. Evelyn's diary. Oh, here we go. Once Dietmar arrives with the staff, I'll be utterly unstoppable. How pleased the conduit will be. How great the reward she'll grant when she sees the evidence of my de dedication. The counselor will be of no concern to her now. I've taken the necessary precautions to disguise the northwest beach lair for, from prying eyes so that only those with knowledge of the spell may enter. I do say Arhu's little terror, taking control of the northern path leading, to the, leading there, was quite the unexpected boon. Few are the fools who will face that monstrosity, and my lair will remain undisturbed. May the goddess guide me. I've word that the conduit has done away with the so-called White Witch. Good riddance. She haunts Lutilla Forest like an ill phantom, wailing over the natural order. Without her meddling, the strong will rise and the weak will fall. As is their nature, the Immaculate Way will flourish. So she's got a lair on the beach, does she? Perhaps that's where she stashed Jake's body. It's possible. Oh, hold on. That is a Marcus thing. Alright, we've got a reveal spell. Spotless save for a series of measured words and inscribed by a careful hand. We'll send that to Steve specifically. Seven grant abundance. Okay, we got lock picks, cloth scraps, good cloth cap. Empty cups we'll leave alone because I don't think they actually help. Seeker of the Scrolls will get us both. And. Alright, we managed to get ourselves a nice juicy staff. A fire staff that has 25% chance to set curse status for three turns. Not bad, but not good enough. Considering we use wands. One strength and immunity to burning. Oh my goodness, this is actually really good for us. Hold on. That is a very powerful ring. We're going to replace it with the ring here. So that way we get immunity to burning. And if I'm not mistaken, there is another ring that we... Or another item that we got that uh, gives boost to uh, strength. Uh, did, I, did I place them on or did I leave it? I think... Oh, here it is. Uh, we'll put that in here. And we've now got an 11 strength instead of a perception. Okay. Now we need to go to one of the caves, I do believe. Ah, Evelyn's secret lair. We need to go to the secluded beach. Okay. We'll go to the secluded beach because that's the closest way to there. And we will march our merry way over. Wait. So is that man... 
Is that man causing a scene here? Hmm. This seems to be the location mentioned in Evelyn's diary. It looks like yeah. it. But where is the entrance? If you continue to hey. shadow around like this, I'll never get an even colour. Do you know anything about well Oh well, that's fine. You know what? You do you, man. You do you. In that case, let us use that key item that we got. And... Uh, not a zombie painting. It should be a scroll, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, here. We who seek this hidden place, the conduit keep. We who dare to speak the spell, the goddess fear. We who step through yonder gate, the hunters hate. Didn't you read the spell, oh. my friend? We who step through yonder gate, the hunters hate. Huh? Doesn't sound like your sort of crowd, does it? Counselor's corpses lying around for charts. All right. Uh, what is with this cave exactly? Oh, do you really need me to get into the tiresome details? There are some people inside, people and things, equipment of some nature or other. I was given a bit of gold to keep people, that's you, out. So that's what I do. We needn't make this any more complicated than it has to be. What about... What do you know about a certain Evelyn? This is her lair, isn't it? Oh, brown hair, nasty temper, big staff, huh? Well, I, I suppose she's the one who tasked me with this little posting. She's always running in and out of the place with a foul look on her face. Friend of yours? Well, regardless, I'd like to enter. No, no, don't push me, Sauce Hunter. I'd like to go back to enjoying the sun. Eh? And I'm sure you'd like to go back to... Whatever it is a scout like you gets up to. One second. Okay, I'm back. Trust me. There's nothing in that cave worth dying over. And frankly, I quite prefer not to get your blood all over my beach blanket. Right, well, I'll take my You're leave. You're planning on going where you ought not to go, are you? You know, I'd step out of the way, old man, if you want to continue enjoying your retirement. Let's go paper. Oh, rip. Alright, paper. Rip. Okay. That's bad on us. Paper. Okay. Well, I guess he wins the argument, but that's fine. Au contraire, my friend. There'd be no greater pleasure for an old master like myself than to exercise his craft once more. Well, we tried to convince you, man. We tried, but alas, it seems you want to, uh, go about this the hard way. Ah, I see. So you're going about it that way, then. Okay, I guess we're gonna save up. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's activate haste. Gonna get the charge going on. There we go. Deal with the sand golem first. Alright. Ah, hello! We are going to use the summon Nick. And we're gonna get Nick involved in this shenanigans. Alright, that's uh, Steve. Unfortunately, he can't really move much in that position, but it's not like I got much of a choice here. Okay, just make me fall. That's fun. Not really. Well, at the very least, I got Nick in, so he's going to be a very staple individual for us. Okay, we're going to go smack Ragdoth up. Uh, let's go for the smack on the Agile Sand Golem, I suppose. Yeet. 
Nice, 126, and a bunch of disease going on. Oh, great, charms. That's not fun. Okay. <laughs> I guess we can go for the smackdown. We're just gonna get the buffer for power stance. Take out the sand golem. Take out the enchanted sandy mound, if we can. There we go. End our turn. No! Nick, don't do this. <laughs> Okay, cripple failed. All right, that's a miss. All right, Ragadoth is thankfully going for somebody else, which is perfectly fine by me. Okay, you're gonna try and blind Steve. Thankfully not. Okay, take out the sandy mound. Then we target out target the sturdy golem here. There we go. And we're going to start making our move over here. Ow. Okay. Okay, I can... I can't use the foot grenade, unfortunately, but I can use... Take out Ragadoth here. Or at least get him diseased, which is going to make our job easier. Ah, the petrification failed. Good. Now we can go for the Agile Sand Golem here. There we go. Stay back, my friend. End our turn. And now that we are up and about, we can actually increase our, our damage and accuracy. Starting with the Oath of Desecration. We'll then pump... Uh, I guess we can move... Well, no, we don't want to move 1 AP up, but we can do the... No, we don't do burn I, my eyes. You know what? Poison. Ragadoth. Take it. Pow. That's going to be painful. End our turn there. Oh, the sand golem goes away. Good. And now we can just go for the attack on Ragadoth here. Yep, yeah, let's do it. Smack. Stun and cripple failed, but that's perfectly fine. Okay, because we lack a minion now, we're gonna go with... Okay, we can make it... Let's see. AP cost 7, AP cost 4 if we use the skeleton. Yeah, let's do the skeleton now. It's cheap, so all the better. Alright, that gives us three more mana to work with, so we can, I guess, strike twice. Get two strikes on Ragadoth, or Ragagoth. Nick, uh, yeah, unfortunately Nick went down, but he did a, he did a champion's work. <laughs> Alright, nice. Managed to get a juicy kill off. He is dead. Sigurd's beard, what a fight! Even in death, he still serves. All right, let's identify some of these. Let's see. Uh, let's do by latest. Okay, we've got nice armor. Some hush metal. There's, of course, the rings, but we don't need to worry about those. You know, now I think about it, we should probably get those books set up. Okay, so let's start with uh, organizing, or rather reorganizing everything. Goodness knows we're going to need to do that, so let's do that. I'll learn this, learn this. Okay, we're going to send these books over to Steve. Uh, I guess we can learn the defensive stance. It never hurts to do. Alright, Avatar of Storms will send to Steve, as well as these other three books. 
And I guess we can learn Eye Gouge, but we need a dagger for that, so that is going to be something we don't use, I don't think. We're definitely going to learn the Explode skill book soon, so that's something. We'll learn everything else, though, to start with. Uh, we can't learn Ice Shard, unfortunately, so that is off the table for now. But we can learn the rest of these. So let's start reorganizing, and then we will get to acting and doing our due diligence here. Okay. Alright, so let's start with Steve and get his spells organized. Okay, second slot is obviously summons, so we're going to keep that in mind. But we can use Rapture as a technical summon, so there is an option for that. So what we're going to do is, these are debuffs, so we're going to want buffs here. Namely buffs and uh, things like Rapture, I suppose. So Oath of Desecration is a buff. Uh, let's see. Uh, Geomancer has Bless and Fortify as a buff. Uh, let's see. Is there any buffs here? We've got Avatar of Storms. Avatar of Frost. Uh, we've got Burn My Eyes, which is another buff. I guess we might actually move these guys to the third slot here. That way I can make more use of the room I've got. Okay, we're going to get the Summon Spider here. Witchcraft, we're going to have Summon Undead Warrior here. Rapture on this side. Well, I guess... Yeah, no, Rapture would be a little higher, but... Definitely Nick is the OG, so he's going to just sit in the zeroth slot. As the best summon. No matter what. And we're also going to dedicate this page to debuffs. So things like Lower Resistance, we'll get Malediction, and Drain Willpower. Is there any other debuffs that I want to add to this? I guess there's the Avatar of Poison, which I can add as a thing for the second slot. There we go. Okay. I think that's it. Okay. Uh, Air Mage, yeah. I guess really, yeah, I've got Burn My Eyes. I guess I'm going to need the uh, Avatar of uh, Fire as well. And I guess Avatar of Earth, if I can get it. But it's not that big an issue if I can't. And the first tier is definitely going to be attacks. Or special abilities like Rain. Rain is going to be useful. Blitz Bolt and Teleportation is a staple. Uh, teleportation is the most important, obviously. Uh, Midnight Oil we'll put in, because technically it's a good spell. We'll get Poison Dart. I guess uh, Midnight Oil will count as an AoE, so we'll get that there. Witchcraft, we don't actually have an attack for. Uh, specials, nothing. Yeah, I don't think we have anything for combat specials, do we? I'm fairly certain I had one more, but I guess... No, I guess that was... Uh, the Midnight Oil. So we only got two attacks for uh, Steve. Which I guess technically sucks. Fine. We've got plenty enough summons and AoE or buffs that just go against that. So. Yeah. Alright, now for Marcus. Let's go through his skill books. And let's see what he has to offer. Man at Arms, he has five. Scoundrel, three. Pyrokinesis, one. Okay, so we're going to start with the stances, which is probably going to go in the second slot. We've got the attack stance and defense stance, naturally. Okay. We're probably going to... Yeah, I guess... I'm not sure if we can do both stances, though. I don't think I can. Cure Wounds is absolutely useless for us, so we're going to abstain from using it. Alright, we're going to go with Fast Track here. We're going to get Adrenaline here. Because these are both buffs that we can utilize. And then we can get Avatar of Fire here. 
self-immolation is technically a buff, as is wildfire, even though we're not as great at it as it. I should be able to get enough decks for adrenaline, just I don't think I have enough though to make it happen. Hmm. I might have an item. One second. Let me see. Okay, nothing yet. Unfortunately, there is not enough for adrenaline, which does suck, but it's perfectly fine. We'll find something, I'm sure. We'll find something later. So, we won't be able to use uh, adrenaline just yet, but hey, we might be able to get it soon, I'm sure. We'll figure it out. Alright, but aside from that, yeah, there is not much else we can theoretically do. I mean, I guess we got eye gouge, but not something we need. We'll send the grenades and the scrolls to Steve. Okay, send to Steve. Alright. Do, do, do. Oh, whoops. I forgot one more. And we should be good. There we go. I think that's as much prep as we're going to get. Uh, we will need to set up the first level skill books, so, so we'll do that real quick. Alright, skills. We're going to want... Honestly, it's only Battering Ram that's the offensive skill here. Uh, next, to cr next to Trip, actually. Trip is also an option. Uh, specials, we've got nothing else beyond that, so yeah. So we now only have two attacks, but we use enough common attacks that we don't tend to utilize these as much. But hey, if we get a knockdown status, that makes, uh, that does make, uh, Marcus way better in combat. I'm gonna give Marcus a quick heal, and we will get... Alright, do a quick save here, and off we go. To confront Evelyn. Alright, let's see. What have you been doing? Anemic cultists. Here. I've, I've got to warn the others. Alright, well, unfortunately for you, you're not gonna get that chance. Oh, whoops. Well, you know what, whatever. Boop. Yeah, so if I'm gonna, if I'm pro- Oh, it is? I apologize for that. I'm not sure what's going on, to be honest. It might just be because I'm going with a push-to-talk option rather than a, uh, rather than the usual option, where I just let the audio go. It's just one of those things. Orcs? Okay. Um, why do you need to see Evelyn? Myself, I need a hand choosing drapes for me kitchen windows. Are you daft? I need to inform her about the happenings in the Black Cove. Ah. But since my lady seems to have barred her gates to the likes of us, why don't you tell her this, small bones? We've run into a snag in the cove, but we're pushing through. The Starstone will be hers soon enough. Alright, well, tell me about yourself. Can't you recognize a fellow immaculate when you see one? Just because I've got twice your strength in my little toe, don't mean we ain't equal in a goddess's eyes. Interesting. It seems the, uh, plot thickens. What's going on in the Black Cove, exactly? I reckon if you don't already know, that may be above your pay grade. Take it up with Evelyn, why don't ya? Or, better yet, have a look for yourself. You seem like just the type those pirates would love to get their hands on. 
Well, I'll say this. You should probably get out of here. Is that right, small bones? Maybe you can give me a single good reason for I rip your arms out. Don't you know? Evelyn can't stand to be bothered like this. I'd hate to see you get on her bad side over a misunderstanding. Rock. Okay. Rock. Okay, just... Mm, not liking this. Scissors? There we go. Paper? There we go. Okay. That's a very weird system. But at least I won. Fair enough. Let the good lady know we look forward to meeting with her, will ya? Yeah, sure. Definitely. Oh, hold on. We managed to get a fire arrow and a tooth. Perfect. Uh, nothing there. How about in you? Okay, I guess we're gonna have to go around. Oh, nothing. Okay. No. The people beyond this gate are awfully boring. They just go back and forth between the same places over and over. Well, I see. So there isn't any second way out, supposedly. Hmm. Good to know. Good to know. Alright. See what's going on. And thankfully we had the key on hand. Making our job a lot easier. On their work, they seem to be impervious to any other distractions. Even the hollering of orcs couldn't shake them out of their strange stupor. Hmm, okay. Hey, Nick. Alright, Nick. Go in. <laughs> Alright, go for the cultist fighter here. Yeet. Nice. Alright, we're going to hold off on Nick there. Let's see. We're going to activate the usual... Well, I guess we can go... Let's see. If we can get the melee power stance going. Will the melee defensive stance work? No, because if we shift from a stance, then it just changes what we do. We'll activate haste if we can. There we go. Oh, and we can get adrenaline because of it. So, we'll activate adrenaline. Get even more actions. And we are now going to charge into position, I suppose. And while we don't hit anybody, the important part is that we actually get into position, so... Let's see, can we get two here? Alright, it's going to take four costs to do this anyways, so let's trip you. Nice. And that's the turn. We're gonna use Ru we're gonna try and use Rapture on somebody. Uh, let's move an AP forward to see if we can target somebody. Yeah, exactly. But that's why we're trying to uh, charm some if we can. Okay, it's gonna cost us. How much AP? We need to move one AP forward more. And hopefully we can target somebody at that point. Okay, we can get to 28 AP here. Unfortunately, we still can't target anybody. So we'll have to hold off on that. But we can do a quick bless. Well, no, not bless. Let's use Oath of Desecration on Nick. And we'll actually increase his armor as well, just so we have the benefits on Nick going wild. Alright, let's see how things play out. <laughs> I 
Ah, perfect! Poison! <laughs> but yeah, no, there's a lot of enemies. This is gonna be quite dangerous, but... They don't look all that bad. They're probably, like, low-leveled individuals. Yeah, they're level 6. They're not that bad. Compared to our level 9, it's just a... Trump stance at this point. Yeah, we just gotta wait for all these guys to go at this point, so that's fun. Not really, but whatever. Oh, thanks for the poison. <laughs> okay, you're going nuts on, uh... You're going nuts, nuts on poor Nick, but you're... He's pretty tanky, so that's good. Alright, smack him. That's a death. Alright, go for the next heal. Ah, nearly. Good job, Nick. You killed somebody. Okay, we're gonna start by striking you. Well, we can't yet, so we're just gonna hold off. Yeah, I know, he's just too amazing. <laughs> Definitely better than Marcus, that's... God damn it. I hate that misclick. <laughs> you just miss the enemy entirely, which sucks. Well, at least I could charm somebody next turn, so... It's fine. Oh, immune to cursed. I forgot I had that. <laughs> yeah, no, Nick is the OG here, taking all the hits instead of us. Oh, well, <laughs> Marcus got trips. Fun. <laughs> Oh. Wait. Hold on. Did Nick... Oh. I guess unintentionally Nick's poison killed one of the minions. <laughs> Only proving my point that Nick is the OG of the group. Alright, we're gonna start using Rapture on one of the cultists. There we go, get a charm going. That'll at least go for a round or two. We're going to activate this poison. We're going to try and strike one of the minions here. We're probably going to have to move an AP away though. Yeah, let's move one AP over this direction. Okay, we can get either a magical dart or blitz bolt going. We're going to do the magical dart because that's way stronger for us. We'll deal the cultist fighter behind uh, Nick. There we go. Then we get another strike on the Initiate. <laughs> he is just doing everything in his power just to be an OG for the group. <laughs> he is the perfect Apex specimen. <laughs> Giga Chat, if you will. Yep, and the miss was also necessary. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Jeez. <laughs> and he's immune to knockdown. Even better. <laughs> I have no idea, but he's a he's fucking immune. <laughs> Alright, you know what to do. Alright, you managed to get a strike on the cultist. Good job. Alright, we're gonna smack the cultist rangers about. There we go. Ah, the cultist initiate is a uh, gone rogue. Perfectly fine. We'll just smack him in the back a few times. Uh, 
Go for the kill. Good job, Steve. Alright. Well, at least the defensive stance is doing work. To some degree, anyways. I might have to change it back to its normal stance, though, because I honestly prefer Marcus with more damage than uh, more defense. Ah, yeah, good job, Steve. G good job, Nick. You're doing well. <laughs> okay, I can't get to any of these guys, but I can go and move over to... Let's see if I can get the 6 AP here. It's as most as I'm going to get here. Yeah, no, I'm not going to be able to get there, so I will move up here. There we go. We're going to start smacking you now. There we go. And because, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Nick is a true friend. And we have his... I guess we can call him his brother to fall in line, but he's not as great, I I must admit. But I digress, he does his work. He chops with a cleaver and does his work, to a degree. Alright, the cultist is trying to heal, but to no avail. Ow. <laughs> The true legend. The true legend. Alright. Go on, my cleaver boy. Good job. Good job, indeed. Alright. Now we can get Marcus going. Alright, Marcus. Clear up shop. And move on your merry way to the next target. Okay, we're going to move 3 AP worth over to here. <laughs> I know, I'm doing him an injustice. <laughs> I really should be ashamed of myself. Ah well. I think it's self-evident at that fact though, to be honest. But, that's just me. Okay. Go on, Skelly Boy. Explode and be mighty. <laughs> okay, we're gonna move 6 AP here, and just smack the Cultist Ranger, and that is the fight. Nice. Let's read this. Okay, well. Alright, skull, arrow. Let's see, we got a dagger with nothing too special on it. I guess we can technically use it if we want, though. Uh, earth element, earth resistance, air resistance, and initiative. It's a bit too low on armor, though. Nice. Ah, plenty of bottles that we can use to make poison bottles, if we wanted. Broad Skull. Let's see. S Secrets of the Scroll gets us Mush of Wood. Blasphemy. Okay. Oh, um. I don't think we have the carry capacity to do a pot still, though. Guess we can read that real quick before we go. Alright, we got a magic 
ink pot and quill. A quill. Multiple versions of a quill, it seems. Fluids. Minor speed potion, nice. Alright. Hello. The people beyond this gate are awfully boring. They just go back. Oh, okay. How about you? Hey. Wow. Catherine has so many friends. I bet they'd do anything she asked. I see. <laughs> well, given the circumstances, I could see why the rat would think that. Corpses, yeah, it's a bit. Where we should probably save. Oh. Alright, let's go confront these two now. We'll do a quick save. Now we- now keep in mind we have met the conduit before uh, coming here, so there is a bit of a mix-up in the story. I think we were supposed to come here way earlier. Curse your stupidity, Evelyn. Look over there. Your foolish games have brought source hunters into our very midst. I have no time for these distractions. Bracus Rex's resurrection is at hand. Deal with these insects and join me. Understand? Of course, O oh Holy Conduit. I will deal with them swiftly. See to it that you do. You! Your stomping through my affairs has cost me dearly. More dearly than you'll ever know. What a pleasure it will be to see the source shred your every last sinew. Then it's true. You are a sorcerer. Yes, a sorcerer. Disciple of blood, chaser of life everlasting. For a true sorcerer, death is but an inconvenience to rid oneself of, Hunter. Bracchus Rex, centuries in his grave, will walk again, healthy as a newborn babe. That is our power. The power of sorcery. Yeah, I, I, I honestly don't know where this came from. It, it was so obscure that you had to actually look around. And that was even me just finding, like, little scraps of information. I just followed the clues, to be honest. Uh, what you do is uh, you go into Evelyn's house and you try and find where her, her and her master went. And... Yeah. You, you find a key in her house where you see a bag, so... You have to presume that she's escaping, in which case you check her house directly, and then you find a bunch of keys and all that, in, war in which you find this place, which is hidden on the Sicil Beach, I believe. Which you can actually go into a secret cave to, which you saw earlier. So this is a whole new thing, I would assume. Or at least, at the very- well, at the very least, it should be something that 
I should have done way earlier. The game expects you to explore the store and lore. Or the story and lore, I should say. What is Counselor Jake doing here? And what have you done to him? That wretch is but a thrall, a tool. But the conduit trusted him. I was determined to find out why and resurrected him. His unwillingness to cooperate has proven something of an annoyance, but no matter. We're nearly through, aren't we, Jake? Just a little more pain. Tell me more about the lady you call the Conduit. She is our leader. Leandra is her name. The Conduit is her title. She aims to bring about... I see. But no, you are not worthy of such knowledge. The bird does not explain to the worm why it devours it. Who is Brachus Rex, and why are you trying to resurrect him? He was the greatest sorcerer ever to have lived. His power outmatches us all. The secrets he carries within him are phenomenal. He will aid us in our task, Hunter. All you have seen, all we are trying to do, this is but the beginning. That healing stone you had, was it fueled by source magic too? You mean my bloodstone, I suppose? Ha! It was named like that for a reason, Source Hunter. I'll put it simply, we start with Starstone. A pretty gem, but hardly special. It contains a potential, though, known only to the enlightened few. If imbued with blood, Starstone contains the power to heal. A life given to the stone is a life one can give to another. To save a great life, a great life must be sacrificed. This is what the Conduit has taught us. Right, I'll take my leave then. Considering the imminent turn of the tide, Source Hunter, you should trust me when I say you're better off dead. Bracchus Rex is rising, and soon Source will live again. Yeah, sure. Let's let's go with that. Sure. All right. So we got some summons here. Yeah. No, you're throwing out everything. It seems. You're even throwing out a fireball. Nasty enough. Great. Okay. Suit yourself. Alright, we're gonna go melee power stance. Fast track. Um. I'm going to avoid the action point loss at the moment. I think it's better if I just go with. Yeah, I'll just go with the charge here. Can I get both? No, I gotta go with either. There we go. Okay. Alright, Nick. Get in there. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Alright, Steve, back off. You need to get in defense mode. Okay, that's a lot of pain, but we'll be fine, I think. Alright, the reflection's coming in clutch. Marcus, you, you can't be taking all these hits. Yeah, no, Marcus. At least let Nick take the hits. <laughs> Would you care to hear a little tale? Alright. Let's see, we're gonna target the caster first. There we go. You know what, I guess we're gonna go for the nuke option there. There we go, get the disease going. Ah, that's a lot of burning, jeez. Huh. Okay, this is a lot, jeez, okay. It's a good thing I saved before this fight so I can position myself a little better, but dang. Okay, we're gonna go for the Demonic Ram to start with. There we go. Bloodwind Demon. I guess we can go for the trip to see if we can get it. 
Uh, knockdown failed, unfortunately, but we can get the slice off. There we go. Alright, take out the Cyclops. Oh, we got stunned. Oh, that's fun. <laughs> Alright, before things go haywire, we're gonna give Marcus a quick heal. Shoot him with a magical dart, for so, for the sake of it. Alright, we can either do a rain or we can buff. I think Nick might go down really quick this turn, so that might not it might not be the best to target him. But we can go with Bless on Marcus just to counteract his power stance. It's unfortunate, but considering the circumstances, we have to prioritize people. Best case, Nick survives and thrives in this instance. Because he's got poison as well, so that's a plus. At least. Oh no. <laughs> just as you say that. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just as you say that, Nick goes down. Ah, <laughs> uh, cruel down, but it's... it happens, I suppose. Okay, we're gonna go for the charred bone scout here. There you go. Okay, we got this Charred Bone Lieutenant going. Alright. Well, we're gonna bring in his brother, at the very least. If only to serve as a distraction against this Charred Bone Lieutenant. And we're gonna go with Malediction, I think. Yeah, let's get Malediction on... Uh, actually, if I go with Lowered Resistant, well, no, I'm going to go Malediction, and we're going to go with Evelyn, just so she has a very weak status effect going for her. Alright, we're going to hold our turn, and we're going to start pelting the Charred Bone Lieutenant here. Uh, I can't do Draw Blood, so that's unfortunately off the table, but I can still end turn there. And the swordsman will do his work. By my right arm. All right, boy. Smack the lieutenant in the face. Crit if you must. Okay, that's unfortunately that's it. Okay. Go for the charred bone scout naturally. All right, that's one strike. Two. And we can't do anything else, but we can use Adrenaline, I suppose. But, no, we're, we're fine. We don't need a rush. Okay. Uh, we can Charm, but I don't think we need to do that. Let's see, we're gonna go with Oath of Desecration, actually. Give Steve a nice juicy buffer on his damage. So that way we can pelt Evelyn twice over. There we go. Then we'll move up here. Alright, the Bone Lieutenant is trying to use the fire to heal, which sucks. But it's fine. I guess we'll use this chance to go behind Evelyn and use the draw blood option to get bleed going. And we can get her flanked as well, so... Yoink! Alright, failed to bleed, but that's perfectly fine. She failed in the blind, no less. But she does heal. Hmm. Okay, you're attacking Steve. Oh yeah, no, no, you can't see Nick. He's just a, uh, he's somewhere in that pile. I'm just not sure where. <laughs> Alright, let's start whacking Evelyn upside the head with Marcus as penance and revenge. Alright, we can get a quick heal on... Can we get Marcus? I don't think we can. Oh, nope, we just barely can. 
There you go, Marcus. Get some healing in. We'll start pelting the lieutenant. And holy hell, that's a lot of damage. I guess because they're fire and I was using cold. <laughs> Alright, let's full rush. Knockdown failed. Alright, we got the crippled status. Can we get another? Yes, we managed to get the stunned. Nice. Can I summon Nick yet? Unfortunately not. But hey, that's perfectly fine by me. Uh, we do need another summon though, so... We're gonna summon a spoiler here. Just so we have more fodder to use against her. Alright. Evelyn? Whack. Alright. Go for the poison. And this might be a kill from the spider? Nope, just barely not enough. Oh, it's the spider's turn again. <laughs> Alright, well that works. Hey, uh, before we continue, let's see what you have to trade. Alright, you've got some interesting things. You got leather ring armor, water resistant and air resistant things, and you got a burning spiked wooden club of vitality. 10% chance to set the burning status. Unlock skill flare. It's a little. Yeah, it's not that great. It's fine. Counselor Jake, I presume. The very same. Jake, counselor by day, sorcerer by night, martyr in death. You say you're a martyr. What do you mean by that? Hold on, so you were killed by the conduit's sister? I, Ikara, Ikara, I spit on every syllable. They call her the White Witch. She is powerful in her own right, but never would I have thought she'd challenge her sister, Leandra, and kill one of the most loyal. Me. There must be more you know about Ikara. Alright, tell me about your murder, then. My murder. A tale of woe. The time, a misty midnight. The place, the King Crab Inn. The players, myself, Leandra, Ikara, and a stranger whose identity I have never established. The conduit was there to meet with this stranger, and had tasked me to stand ready to overpower him if necessary. I heard sounds of passion at first, but later of angry argument. Then I heard Leandra's command, and I entered the room. She swerved past me, and oh, I can still feel the rasp of her holy breath upon my ear, whispered, finish him. A man lay 
lay on the floor, struck down and ready for my knife, which I plunged deep into his heart. Yet, but not a moment later, Ikara burst through the window, and I was defenseless. She savagely tore my life from my body, and I died in the glow of the source. A holy martyr, slain in the name of the conduit. Interesting. Why did Evelyn resurrect you then? Foolish grasper. She who thought herself the conduit favorite couldn't stand that I had been privileged as a confidant. When she realized the conduit had been in the inn the night I was killed, she couldn't stand to think that I had been trusted where she had not. She brought me back to unlife so that I would reveal what I knew. She wanted to work her way back into the conduit's confidence. But as you saw, Leandra had no interest in Evelyn's petty tricks. Evelyn mentioned the resurrection of Brachus Rex. Do you know anything about him? Yes, yes. The king is dead, but not for long. Long live the king! For Brachus Rex has no equal hunter. His knowledge of the source is absolute, and through him so will the conduits be. The hour is nigh. You do not realize it yet. But his axe is falling towards your scrawny neck. <laughs> right. I, I am of little use to Leandra's cause now. My worm eaten grind is an insult to her perfection. To my grave, then, I will go. I suppose she'll not grant me my portion of rest. Sure. Well then. What's that gleam? Sigurd's beard, what a fight! Okay, we got a grenade, a blank fire skill book. Let's identify these items. 30 HP for Helm. The club here. It is a level 6 club, so not as good as what we got. So we'll just grab... Okay, gold. I uh, got a unidentified ring. Uh, plus 1 to Lore Master, but 11 poison resistance, which is not good for us. Ice Shard Scroll. Alright, let's talk to the rats. Hey! Evelyn just loves ruining beautiful star stains with her sticky red sack. Yeah, I can tell. Hey! How can Evelyn hate Jake? They're both the best of friends with the white haired lady. What was her name? C Condelia? Hmm. So there's another person named Condelia, apparently. Well, either that or there is... It was one of the people there, but I digress. Alright, I think that's literally everything.
I think that's it. I'm going to wrap it up here then, because, well, we found what uh, happened to Jake, obviously. Of course, we got a few quests that we can turn in now, as a result. So, we've gotten, we've certainly figured out a ton of things now because of this. So, yeah, I'm going to figure those out next time, and we will see how things play out. For those of you on YouTube, like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification if you want to see more of this stuff. I stream daily, so if you can catch my streams, you can catch me 3 to 7, MST time. If you want to catch my streams directly, you can either search me up at fmyupon at twitch.tv. Uh, alternatively, there is the... Well, you know what, I'll just do it for both. If you want to search me up on either platform, the best way to do so is either YouTube or, or uh, twitch.tv and put in fmyupon. If for those of you on YouTube, you can search up my features in the YouTube description in about. And you should be able to find my link there in my YouTube page. Or you can take, or for both, you can check the link down below in the description. There should be a link that you can copy paste into your browser, which will direct you to my channels, either or. Uh, for those of you on Twitch, there is one more way. If you scroll down, you should be able to see a YouTube button if you want to check my YouTube channel. You click that uh, little po photo, and it will direct you to my YouTube channel. But those are the uh, multiple ways you can go to search either channel. For those of you on Twitch, or those of you from YouTube from Twitch, welcome. Your support is always appreciated. The more support I have, the more content I can give you guys. Once I hit the 50 follower mark, and I can give you guys... Well, once I hit the follower mark of 50... And I get three concurrent viewers, which basically means uh, three people watching my stream. I can give you guys uh, more content in the form of, uh, you know, giving you guys interesting things to do. Whether that be, you know, spending bits to do unique commands or whatever have you. I'll have to figure it out once I get it, but once I do, I'll definitely put some effort into finding what I can do with that. But yeah. Uh, I've already given you... Yeah, uh, if you want to find out my older videos, the best way to do so is YouTube. You know how to get there already, so if you want to find my older streams or just want to find out what I did since day one, that's the best way to do so. If you want to find my recent content, you check out Twitch. It has seven days worth of content, give or take. But I digress. I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream. I know I did. And I will see you guys next stream. Take care, everyone, and have a good day.